Well, ang ganda ng pasok eh, no? <laughs> magandang magandang hapon sa inyo, teachers. And uh, welcome po to our uh, stream for today, uh, to our uh, session for today. Uh, medyo jump tak tayo, Sir Jumpin, no? Kasi kakatapos lang ng session natin kahapon uh, on uh, on EdPuzzle, our EdPuzzle webinar number uh, four. Okay? Hey, congrats. Session. No, congrats sa oh. uh, ating EdPuzzle, ano yun? Coach of Ed the month. month. Yes, no, Ed Puzzle Coach of the Month, saka Ed Puzzle uh, Educator of the Month. Kakapadala lang natin kanina no, ng ating... Very deserving uh, naman, no? very deserving. Mga swago. At Sir Jambi, uh, baka naman pwede mong ipa-preview ng konti dyan kung ano ba yung suot-suot mo na t-shirt niya. Kasi uh, yan yata yung... Yan! That's the Ed Puzzle shirt, teachers na Ed Puzzle Pilipina shirt. Uh, partnered pa syempre no, ng ating uh, tinatawag na Ed Puzzle uh, mask. Eh. Is that? Jambi, parang... Pwede nga din, dire-diretso na, no? Yan Tapos, eh. siyempre, ano yan, kompleto yan, meron pa yung mass band, uh, uh, ano, no? Mas, para hindi mawala. Mas hindi mawala. Yes, para, <laughs> para hindi mawala. Uh, stickers, kay, um, swag bag, etc. So, punong punong. And Sir Jambi, um, we are we're proud to say na hindi po yan nag-exist sa ibang lugar, no? Uh, yan po ay uh, locally produced, kay, for Ed Puzzle Pilipinas lang po, yung mga swag bags na yan. So far, we have produced around 30 so, ibibigay po natin yan during mga webinars ng EdPuzzle at saka sa mga EdPuzzle Coaches of the Month and EdPuzzle Educators yeah. of the Month natin. So, every time. Plus, by the way, Sir Jambi, bahala nakalimun natin, may cash price din po yan, ano? <laughs> may, yes, no, our um, EdPuzzle Educator will receive 1,000 pesos as cash price as well. And uh, for our uh, EdPuzzle Coach, will receive 1,500 pesos. Uh, Paano care of, no, of course. Yun? Paano ba maging EdPuzzle Coach? Uh, EdPuzzle Coach, Coach natin. <laughs> so Ed Puzzle Coach, syempre, Sir Jami, number one, you'll have to be an Ed Puzzle Certified Coach. Okay? Pero hindi naman yun kahirap yun. Um, pero syempre, ang pinaka, ano lang, no, uh, hinihingi namin for Ed Puzzle uh, Coach, uh, natin pala, no, for Ed Puzzle Coach, that you get to share what you know about Ed Puzzle. So, ibig sabihin, nakapag-conduct ka ng at least uh, one sharing or one training um, for, for other teachers. No? And of course, some testaments to your community on how you are able to influence others in using Ed Puzzle. And yung ating Ed Puzzle Educator, it's as simple as sending us uh, uh, your videos, okay? uh, a preview um, video ng iyong uh, Ed Puzzle video, and let's see kung paano mo ginamit ang Ed Puzzle sa class mo. Last time po, ang ganda ng uh, video ni Sir ni ano ni Miss Joan, okay? nagturo siya ng chemical reaction using Ed Puzzle video at napakaganda. Ang daling intindihin, nakakatawa, uh, baka engaging. Uh, talaga matututo ka ano, sa mga ganong ano natin, uh, mga, mga video lessons natin. So yeah, teachers, no, we're inviting you to to join us every time sa mga Ed Puzzle webinars and sessions natin to get all Alam of this. Alam mo yung natin, Sir Franco? Um, August na po ang ating next uh, for our um, Ed Puzzle Coach of the Month and uh, Educator of the Month for August. Okay? That will be launched uh, starting next week ang application period po natin. And we have at least three weeks for application. So, meron matagal naman, Sir Jambi, yung binibigay natin, ano. Um, so, mag-start tayo next week, at uh, teachers, no, ang deadline po ulit is around August 24, 25, okay? Para lang po meron kaming uh, time to judge and to, ano, no, to um, to assess, no, kung sino ba ang karapat-dapat na Ed Puzzle Coach at Ed Puzzle uh, Educator of the Month. Okay? Correct. Yan, okay. Uh, so, Sir Jambi, uh, siguro we can uh, greet our teachers, no? Isang magandang-magandang hapon at isang malamig na hapon. Okay, sobrang, <laughs> medyo back to back to, uh, kaka-stretch ko lang, Sir Jambi, no? Kaka-unat ko lang from another training. Galing po ako ng DICT. <laughs> yes, so, uh, hello po sa mga participants ng ating uh, DICT training. Uh, we're uh, conducting a Google Workspace for Education training sa DICT doon. Uh, with CPD points, this is Sir Jambi, no? My first ever training with CPD points kay, para sa mga teachers na libre wow. po. So, hello po. Kung meron po dyan galing kanina sa training namin, so hello po sa inyo teachers. Kay, at maganda-magandang hapon. Nakita na naman tayo dito. Okay? Um, siguro, Sir Jambi, let's do... Eh, go ahead, Sir Jambi. May, may palatandaan ka ba? Sir? <laughs> <laughs> Wala. Wala na. Hindi ko lang alam. Wala na Nang ano, nang, ah, nang ano natin. Hindi ako nakapaglagay eh. Pero anyway, we'll just uh, we'll pick, uh, ano, konti pa lang naman, no? Uh, of course, ang teachers natin ngayon medyo busy na rin. Tsaka, yan, sa mga panahon, madaming uh, nahirapang mag-connect ngayon sa ating uh, connection. No? So anyway, um, let's uh, greet uh, our teachers from the chat. Okay, so teacher uh, Aloha uh, Tinga. Mag yes po, magbibigay po kami ng certificate. Uh, teacher uh, Lilhana Niza. 
from Albania. Wow, from Albania. Yeah, meron viewer oh, from Albania. So, uh, to our speaker in the backstage, okay, you already know we have uh, foreign, uh, foreign viewers. <laughs> Mr. Lourdes Claire <laughs> Ignacio. Yes, pressure. A little bit of pressure. It always puts pressure. No? Um, Teacher Evelyn uh, Suniko. Teacher Emmy Abigan, always here. Teacher Miyuki Madeline. And of course, we also would like to greet uh, Sister Orlando A. Hoven Jr. Hello, hello po. Uh, Rosh Abelia, good afternoon to you as well. Ernesto Caberte, all the way from Binyan City, Laguna. Annabel Miguelias Rolie. Nako, sana I'm pronouncing that name correctly. Uh, of course, Miss Evelyn Esquejo from La Trinidad, Benguet. Nako, di sobrang lamig dun ngayon, ano, Sir Franco? Oo, oh, oh. medyo <laughs> nilalamig na tayo dito, sobrang lamig dun. <laughs> medyo doble yung lamig ngayon dun, no? So, pero actually, ang ganda pa rin naman sa ano, we just have to make sure na ano tayo, properly, ano, covered. <laughs> Kasi maka magkasakit po tayo. Kasi ingat po tayo dyan, okay. teachers. Nako, hindi ko na nasundan, Sir Javi, kung nasan ka na ngayon. Tuloy mo muna hanggang mahanap. Uh, tuloy mo muna. Yes, uh, I will look for that. Man, uh, Bona Obra also. Good afternoon to you. Uh, of course, si Sir Joseph Odilon Hermitano. Good afternoon po. Uh, ayan, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I- Ithil. Ayan. Ithil, kung, yes. Kung malabas mo yung name mo later on, ayan, baka mahabol natin yung pagbati sa iyo. Sir Manny. Romeroso, Mirasol, Liboon. Good afternoon from Iloilo Province now. Noel Cobangbang, Julius Caesar on Tolan. Ayan, ba, ba, ba natitigil ako pag papasa? <laughs> Sir Alex Xavier Alvarez from Hidapawan City. Uh, Michelle Batillier uh, Kasakite. Oh, yes, indeed. No. And uh, of course, the, uh, sir, Teacher Junior Andres, Teacher Visita Arota, Teacher Rosmalin Russell, okay, uh, Team Google, yes, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> teacher Visita Arota, uh, Pastor Manny as always here, Teacher uh, Gloria Siscar, and Teacher Edwin Gallardo. Welcome back po. Medyo matagal ko hindi nakita si Sir, sir Edwin sa mga streams natin because um, Sir uh, sir Jabi, no, Sir Edwin has been here from the start of Kaagapay Teacher Support. Wow. I just mentioned that, yes. I think siguro na maging, naka naging busy Sir Edwin. Pero ayan, babalik na ulit si Sir Edwin sa mga streams natin. Uh, this is Sir Mary Grace uh, Quizon, uh, uh, SJ Juano. And of course, we also have Teacher Edward D. Awas Jr. And our avid viewer, always here, Teacher May Baiza Versosa. Oh, yeah. Speaking of Miss, ano, si Miss May, nasan si, ano, si Teacher Pao? Yeah, teacher Pao may meron lang ano, may emergency lang. So, uh, ah, may hindi may na si Teacher Pao ngayong araw na to. Yes. Nagpadala okay. ng mensahe kanina. Ayan. Mukhang lumipad, mukhang lumipad sa ano yata, sa ano ba, <laughs> Rumi, Romania yata eh. Emergency flight, oh, puntang Romania. <laughs> Romania ba or Bulgaria ba? Hindi ko alam, alimutan ko eh. Pero... <laughs> oh, Romania, mga, Romania. Mga, yes. Mga po na, as mga na umaten po kahapon ng ano, <laughs> ng Ed Puzzle. Ayan, kailan nakakalit? Malala- uh, malalaman nila kung bakit natatawa si Sir Jambi. <laughs> 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 Go ahead, Sir Jambi. Last round of our greetings uh, before we move on. Teacher Dina Gonzaga, good afternoon to you as well. Noli Tambawan, magandang hapon po. Melissa Pantig. Ayan, totoo, rainy afternoon to all. Pero sana safe. Uh, Mary yeah. Joyce Sundino, uh, Gemma Rivera, Eli Austria, Leia Caliso, uh, who else, who else? Hitesh Kumar Sharma. Parang I, I always see his name. Yes, in, he's always know? there. For us, from India, okay, if I'm not mistaken. Sana po natututo kayo sa amin. Sana may naintindihan kayo. Ayan, yes. Ayan, magpuloy. Sige, si Franco, ikaw na. Okay na yun. Okay lang yan, Sir Jambi. That's, uh, we're going to greet them for a further later on uh, sa pagpapatuloy ng ating session. Pero siguro, Sir Jambi, gusto mo nating hilingin sa ating mga viewers right now to please do share our link right now to our uh, to, to your Facebook timelines, to Instagram, to Twitter, to uh, to anywhere, no? Uh, to invite other educators to join us today because this is actually a very, very important session, no? especially for um, Google Workspace for Education users, Sir Jambi. Kasi... Uh, marami sa mga tools natin. Although slowly si Google ay nag invest na rin sa pag-develop ng mga desktop apps. Okay? Uh, of course, uh, mobile apps, you always have those. Pero uh, for the most part, teachers, no, lahat, madami sa mga tools natin. Okay? Uh, except for Google Drive. Kasi si Google Drive may desktop app na. Um, pero lahat ng mga tools natin aside from Google Drive should be accessed via Chrome or browser. 
So kapag hindi natin masyado na ma-maximize or hindi natin alam yung mga functionalities natin sa sa Chrome natin, we might be missing a lot of uh, of opportunities to optimize the use of Google Workspace for education. So fundamental, alam mo si Jambi, gusto ko lang share no. Sa mga trainings ko, uh, just recently no, uh, in the last uh, two batches, okay? Kasi before si Google Chrome lagi ko nilalagay sa dulo, okay? Kasi part siya ng Google support. Pero I realized, okay, that it should be at the start of my of the Google Certified Educators training, no. Uh, before you even explore other tools, kailangan kay Chrome ka magsa-start. Okay? Kaya ngayon, nilagay ko na siya ngayon sa kauna-unahang um, day no, ng ating 5-day uh, Google Certified Educators training, yung ating uh, Google Chrome, kasi yan yung una lang. Ano. And, Sir Jambi, gusto ko lang um, uh, ipakwento ko sa'yo, no? kasi naalala ko bigla yung story mo, yung um, isa ng mga bagong bagay na na-discover mo sa Chrome na pinadali ang buhay mo, uh, recently. So ano nga yan, Sir Jamie? Which, uh, wag mo nang ano, no, explain paano ginawa, pero sabihin mo lang, ano yan, tsaka um, paano niya pinadali ang buhay mo. Kasi si cover naman ng speaker natin yan, kasi very comprehensive ang coverage natin Ooh. for today. Ano po, ang tabayanan ninyo, i-discuss mamaya or hanapin ninyo right after our session this afternoon, yung customize, ano daw daw? Customize profile color? Uh, Chrome Tambayan. profile, yes. Ano yan? Oo. Ano, maliit na bagay pero sobrang laking ano, sobrang laking uh, ginhawa niya. Yes. Yeah. Lalo na sa mga teachers, okay? Pwede pa tayo mag-survey uh, dyan. Ilan ang inyong Google accounts, okay? Uh, alam ko, for fact, number one, kung naka-deped kayo, may deped account na kayo kagad. Okay, meron din kayong personal account. Pero fine, no, for a fact, teachers, madami din kayong Google account na ako. For example, Sir Jambi, I am maintaining around um, six to eight no, uh, active Google accounts. Okay? At uh, yung Chrome profiles na yan ay napakalaking tulong. So, teachers, pakilagay po sa chat para malaman natin makapag-sharing tayo ng ilan ang mga Google ano, accounts nyo. Sir Franco, kasi ano eh, um, very convenient yung ano ka yung naka separate yung Google Chrome accounts mo di ba very convenient siya meron siyang meron siyang purpose kung bakit uh, as much as possible separate yung accounts mo hindi yung new tab ka lang ng new tab Tos, yes correct pero uh, parang nagdadalawang isip ka kasi napipigilan ka dahil nalilito ka uh -oh. Yun, 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 because you are able to customize your profile, hindi ka na malilito. So, ma uh, may ano, makikita. Makikita nila yung beauty ng Chrome profiling na yan. At yan, ang dami. May mga 4, 2, 3, 4, 3, 5. Okay, teachers, sabi ko sa inyo, itong Chrome profile na may uh, papadaliin niya ang buhay niya. Okay, so, Sir Jambi, uh, I think it's now time. Let's uh, introduce our speaker for today. Uh, who will be uh, guiding us no, uh, through the different uh, facets and aspects of uh, Google Chrome para mas mapalalim, mas mapalawak, at mas mapaayos pa natin ang paggamit ng Google Chrome and therefore uh, our use of Google Workspace for education tools. Okay. Correct. And as usual, it is my honor, mga kaagapay, na ipakilala sa inyo ang ating bisita this afternoon. Uh, our very special guest is a faculty member of the Our Lady of Perpetual Soccer College where she teaches media and information literacy. Uy, ka, ano ka pala to? Ka-subject ko pala to. Or MIL. And research subjects to senior high school students. Presently, she is pursuing her degree in Master of Arts in Teaching Technical English at Marikina Polytechnic College. She also is, of course, a Google Certified Educator Levels 1 and 2. Ladies and gentlemen, Mga kaagapay, Miss Natasha Lily Renz Sabado. And good afternoon po everyone. Good afternoon Sir Franco and Sir Jambi. Hello po sa lahat. Hello internet. Ayan. Yeah, Pero paglilin mo po, Webes pa lang po. Ayan. Yes, hindi ko pa po araw ngayon. Pero ayan po tayo. Yes. Mo pala nilagay si ano, teacher na. Dapat nga po yata. <laughs> Sorry, ano yung schedule natin yan. Pero again, maraming maraming si teacher Nat. Alam natin kung gano'ng ka si teacher Nat din. Pero always uh, willing to serve. By the way, no, Sir Jambis, isa rin sa teacher Nat sa mga nag 
uh, visit na rin sa ating Google Certified Educators Training at nagbigay na rin. No? Dito, actually, doon kami nag-start uh, nung uh, nag-share siya about Google Reform. Nakita ko, sabi ko, ang comprehensive ng coverage niya, kailangan hindi lang mga Google Certified Educators ang makinabang dito. Kailangan lahat ng mga pwedeng makinabang, kailangan makita nila itong presentation ni Teacher Nat on Google Chrome. Pero by the way, Sir Jambi, no? uh, gusto ko lang din maglagay ng konting pressure, but at the same time, encourage Teacher Nat because <laughs> si Teacher Nat ay also uh, no, ongoing process no, to become a Google Certified Trainer. So, yan yung isa sa mga wow. pinaghahandaan namin at inaayos namin. So, abangan natin. Uh, definitely, no, with the teacher nat is very, very much qualified uh, to to be uh, a Google Certified Trainer. Konting-konti na, tinatrabaho lang namin yan uh, this, these days. No? But anyway, uh, teacher nat, siguro, bago ito po tayo mag-start, is, um, bigyan, uh, pwede mo ba kami bigyan ng konting overview or the things that uh, we'll be expecting from your session, what's going to be covered, and what are we going to learn from your session today? For the Google Chrome overview po, so you might have seen that the title is the complete overview or guide for Google Chrome. And tama po si Sir Franco, we have noticed na Google Chrome is often overlooked by teachers po, or hindi lang teachers, actually lahat ng Google users po. Siguro kasi it's something na basic sa atin, na yan yung una mong i-access if you're going to look for something, pero hindi siya yung destination mo. So, especially um, because of that po, and hindi ko alam kung napansin nyo, but I believe some of our uh, audience, people in the audience right now, have seen the recent developments po of Google Chrome, and yun yung gusto kong i-share sa inyo. Bukod po dun sa basics kung ano yung iba't ibang parte, ano po yung bago sa kanya, yung nabigay kanina ni Sir Jambi na sabi nga nagpadali ng buhay niya, baka hindi nyo pa po nadidiscover, so sabay po natin siyang pakikialamanan mamaya. Ayun, sir. <laughs> Exciting. Maraming salamat. Sir Javi, meron ka bang uh, pabahon or questions or uh, maybe uh, you'd like to ask to Teacher Nat before we leave uh, the floor and give that floor to Teacher Nat? Wala na. Oh, ano, wala na. Wala. Okay, go na tayo. Na, nakabukas yung Chrome ko. Ready na ako mag- ano, mag- Yes. <laughs> Oo, oh, sakto kasi nandito naman tayo ng teachers. Nanonood naman kayo sa YouTube nyo. Di ba? Kung naka-laptop kayo. So open nyo lang another tab uh, um, and um, ano, no, uh, for you to be able to uh, do the hands-on activity. So, uh, teacher Nat, uh, good luck uh, for our audience. Okay, uh, enjoy the session. Okay, don't forget that the evaluation link will be sent at the end of the session for your certificates. Okay, so just wait for that. And um, we'll be in the chat, teachers. No, I'll be interacting with you in the chat just like always. Okay, so teacher Nat, um, your, the, floor is, the floor is yours now uh, for your session. Okay, good luck po. Thank good you, luck. sir. Thank you po. All right, so welcome po ulit everyone. Ayon, I was reading through your comments kanina while I was waiting in the backstage. And nakakatuwa po kasi I saw a kapwa Marikenyo pala in the chat na nakikinood po. So hello po, Sir Ernesto. I also see a lot, uh, sorry, Sir Mark. There you go. Si Sir Ernesto kasi nag-send siya ng emoji. <laughs> so ang nandun ako na fixate, pasensya na. It, uh, it's Sir Mark Grueso po. I hope I pronounce your last name right. Kapwa Marikenyo. Ayan po. And an, yun nga po, they mentioned kanina, it's all over the world. We have viewers from India and Albania. And I honestly did not expect that. Uh, akala ko po, eh, tayo-tayo lang dito. <laughs> Mula Luzon hanggang Mindanao. But ayun po, nakaabot tayo. And yun naman po yata ang uh, laging nangyayari whenever it's uh, kaagapay teacher support who live streams. It's all over the world po. Ayun. I also see some comments. Can, uh, saw some comments kanina. Sorry, We're in. Meron na pong familiar with the different, oh! yun, yung sinabi ni Sir Jambi na kakaiba. Ayan. So, we'll go and discuss that po later. Ayan. Meanwhile po, let me just share my screen. So, ito na po siya. If you are on your uh, laptop, that would be best. Ayan. Para sabay natin siyang yeah, ano? i the discover Ayan po. So, if you're on your laptop or desktop, then pareho po tayong pumunta sa Google Chrome if you're not yet there. Ayan. If you're on your cell phone naman po, baka right now kasi your available gadget is just your cell phone or your tablet, that's also fine po. Meron tayong mga kasamahan na hashtag team replay, as I like to call them. <laughs> Minsan, uh, busy ngayon, so babalik ka na lang yung stream later. That's also fine po, don't worry. Uh, we're glad na 
with the way things are going right now, we always have access sa mga ganitong seminar. Kasi di ba po dati, pag face-to-face, tas di ka naka-attend, sayang. Ayun po. So, before I start po, I am hoping, nasabi nila kanina, medyo malamig. Sa ibang parte po yata, I saw some comments na maulan na daw ngayon sa kanila. So, I'm hoping po na your area right now is uh, safe. Kung baga maulan, pero hindi naman yung levels parang yung nakarang linggo po yata kay Bagyong Fabian. I believe uh, some of our teachers may have been affected, lalo na po dito sa Marikina kasi nag-alert level 2 po kami sa Marikina River. So, sana hindi na siya maulit. Malamig lang. Okay yung malamig. <laughs> pero yung bumabaha po, sana wala. Pero in case po binaha kayo, ayun, I hope po na unti-unti nang nakakabangon. Kasi gano'n naman usually yung nangyayari para ng iba sa Naina. So, ayun po. Pero kung hindi po kayo binaha, then that's good. Ayun po. Hopefully, magtuloy-tuloy and everyone stay safe po. Ayun. So, let's proceed po with Google Chrome. Let's start po muna kung ano ba si Google Chrome. Siyempre, napaka-basic po. Pag ginugil mo si Google, <laughs> pag ginugil mo si Google Chrome, ang una yung sasabihin sa'yo ay siya yung ginawang website uh, browser, ayun, or browser for short, ni Google. Kasi kung napansin nyo po, lalo na yung mga kaedaran ko, the millennials and the older generations po, di ba before hindi naman po Google ang puntahan natin for our browsers. Ang puntahan dati ay either Yahoo or Bing. So, kung meron po tayong mga teachers na kasama ngayon, maybe you are um, of the younger generation, baka ang naabutan mo lang is Chrome, yun na yun. Ayun po, before hindi yun ang meron kami. It's Internet Explorer and then the default home pages are either Yahoo or Bing. So, however, kung mapapansin nyo, wala naman kayo narinig na i-Yahoo mo or i-Bing mo, yung hinahanap mo. It's always i-Google mo. Ayan. I-Google mo, yung ganito ganyan. Ayan. So, I think that's the psychology kung bakit karamihan sa atin, we don't really play around with Google Chrome that much. Kasi nabanggit ko nga po kanina, it's only your means para makapunta sa kung anumang destinasyon ang gusto mong marating. Usually, since it's meant, Google Chrome is meant to help you interact with different websites, kaya nga siya website browser, kadalasan bubuksan mo siya to go to a specific website sa kung anumang dahilan. So, dahil yan lang yung purpose mo at pag narating mo yung website, okay ka na. Dead man na tayo sa the rest of the benefits that Chrome has to offer. However po, with all the technology advances that Google has been working on and more so ngayon pong nagsimula yung pandemic last year kasi naging ano talaga yung paggamit natin. Almost everyone had to use Chrome na, had to use the online setup for everything, not just the education sector po, but even businesses, mas lalo nilang pinaigting yung developments. And yun po yung iisa-isahin natin kasi baka alam mo na to, so matagal ng masarap yung buhay mo kasi ay hindi mo alam yung mga ganon na you have this function or ayun nga, baka narinig ko pero hindi ko alam pakialamanan. So sabay po natin siyang bubuting-tingin. Disclaimer po teachers, you may think that GCE 1s and 2s are considered experts. Ayun, however po, To be honest with you, almost all people I know who are GCEs are actually good at using Google Chrome. Hindi po lahat ng bagay alam namin sagutin right off the bat. Usually, sasabihin namin na, wait lang, i-verify ko, and then we go to Google Chrome. Yun. So, yun po yung gagawin natin for today. I believe you should be seeing my screen po. I'm sharing my other tab. Uh, medyo tinabi ko muna si StreamYard and minake sure ko na hindi ko siya masasara kasi mawawala po ako dito sa stream. Ayan. So, you should be seeing my uh, Google homepage po. Ayan. So, ito yung blank na nakikita nyo. Yung iba sa inyo may not be seeing what I'm seeing right now on my own screen. Maybe yung inyo ay yung plain lang na Google homepage or pwedeng iba yung itsura. And there are reasons but iba-iba tayo na nakikita. Ayan. So, later on po, isa-isahin natin yan. However, let's start po muna with the different parts of Google. Basic, no? Parang elementary. Um, I don't know about you, pero nung elementary ako, part of my exercises was identify the different parts of the browser. Tapos, printed po ito. <laughs> printed po ito nung 90s. Ayan. Kailangan susulat mo yon either identification or meron kaming multiple choice. I don't, baka yung inyo po kasi e practical test na, pero yung akin po nun e, ayun, black and white pa yung photocopy nun. So, pag malamali ka ng intindi sa nakaturo yung arrow, 
sayang ang one point. Ayun po. So, let's start with the different parts. So, this is your browser. Itong kabuuan pong ito ay ang Google Chrome or ang iyong browser. And the arrows, let's start po dito sa upper left ninyo facing the screen. You have the arrow buttons, the back and the forward. You have the refresh button, yung pakorba pong arrow. And the one that has the house icon. Homepage. Ayan po. Itong bar na to na puti na mahaba na nakikita nyo, it's called address bar by some. However po, the term now for this is omnibox. Bakit po naging omnibox na ma'am? Eh, alam ko address bar yan. That's because po kasi before, um, when you say address bar, that's the place you would go to type in the address literally. Okay? So, kung wari www.kugil.com address bar ka dapat pupunta for you to get to that specific website. However, Google, since again, paulit-ulit po sila na they, all the analytics that they ask you for your permission to send to them, ginagamit po nila yan to further improve their products. And isang napansin nila with their analytics is, bakit sa address bar sila nagta-type nang gusto nilang isearch once nakarating sila sa homepage ng google.com? Ayun, napansin po nila yan. So, kunwari, gusto kong pumunta sa facebook.com. Kunwari po, eh, hindi ko alam yung website. Hinahanap ko siya. Facebook lang po yung itatype ko. However, if you will notice, nagigets nga na na, ah, you're looking for this website. O sige, i-redirect kita sa homepage. Yun po, kaya naging omni box na lang ang term sa kanya. Kasi instead of making the users adjust how they do things, si Google na po yung nagsabing, okay, I'll be the one to take into account na ganyan pala ang gusto nyo. So either way, it's either you type the website itself, Facebook, oops, baka kung saan tayo mapunta pag natatype ng page. <laughs> Ayan, facebook.com po, ayan, pupunta ka niya dyan. And dahil ang aking location po ay Pilipinas, by default, ayan, ilalagay po niya sa uh, Filipino. Ayan, or pwede, ayun nga lang yung ginawa ko kanina. Search lang ng Facebook, kung mapapansin niyo po, siya yung unang umangat. Ayan, that's Omnibox. The star here, I also don't, or I refrain from using too much technical terms, especially when I teach in MIL po. Hindi naman po ito talaga yung tinuturo ko sa MIL. However, since it's more on the social media, natatouch ko din po siya. So, itong star part na to, <laughs> si star icon po, is actually the bookmark icon. So, whenever you want to save a specific website, kasi babalikan mo later, or maybe you're doing research, or gusto mo lang siya ibasahin ulit mamaya, kasi busy ka ngayon, di mo mababasa. Then, the bookmark bar, uh, bookmark, uh, button, rather, is your best friend. Ito pong nakikita yung icons sa to, mamaya itatouch natin siya ng kaunti. Those are just some of my extensions. Kung wala po kayo nito, you may notice medyo mas mahaba yung inyong Omnibox. And the one on the purple, the upper right side po of your ano, I have to always touch my hands. Hindi ko po alam kung ako lang yun. I have, um, meron po kasi ako mal kapal na kalyo sa kaliwang mali kanang kamay ko po. Kasi that's, I'm right-handed. Madiin pa ako magsulat. So dahil nalilito po ako sa left and right, whenever I have to point, kinukuskus ko po yung <laughs> ano ng aking ano. Kasi ito ba may kalyo? I think kanan. Ganun po. Baka ako lang po yun. Pero hopefully may kapareho ako sa audience. So ayun po. So sa kanan po, upper right side of your screen, sa side ko po yun yung may violet na icon. Pero baka sa inyo kasi iba. So, yan po yung tinatawag na Chrome profile. Itatouch natin siya in a bit. And then, ito pong three dots dito. I always call that the fishbowl or the quick-quick icon. Um, in teacher or in Sir Franco's uh, trainings for Google ano, Workspace for Education, pinapangalanan po yung different icons like the waffle icon, ito, the hamburger icon. Ayun. Sa akin po, for some reason, never nag-stick kung ano po talaga ang pangalan ng icon na to. But in my mind, I call it fishbowl or quick-quick. Masyado ko na siyang nilocalize. Parang Pinoy na Pinoy. Pero ayun po, it works naman for me. At nagigets din naman po ako ng mga kausap ko. When I say, yung ano, yung three dots, yung mukhang quick-quick, on a stick, or fishbowl. Ayun, wala pa naman po nagsasabi na hindi naman mukhang quick-quick. Wala pa naman po. Pero ayun, the three dots po, more on the settings yan. Later po, itatouch din natin siya. We also have your minimize, yung uh, line icon dito. The two squares po would be your store down. Or ayun, kapag gusto mong liitan kaunti, ayan siya. And we also have the X. Na huwag ko po sanang mapindot kasi mawawala ako sa screen. Ayan po yung highlight ng red. The plus icon will be another tab. Ayan. So, 
teacher nat bakit tinuturo mo pa yung different parts uh, paka basic naman yan hindi ko man kailangan well that's because po sometimes when we have to direct people sa atin na mga pamilyar na with Google Chrome you don't need to name all of these the books bookmarks bar ito pong malaking bar na to na may nakikita kayong different icons GC apps or sites na folder ayan we know those we know how to get to those however po if you are going to teach or help someone whether it's a family member a friend or baka a student or baka even your supervisor who's not that ano uh, familiar with technology kailangan po natin gumamit ng certain terms na makakatulong sa kanilang ah yung quick quick icon ayon it's unorthodox kasi di ba yung ibang Uh, trainers would be a bit strict. However, it helps. Like the waffle icon, it's stuck. That's why most of the trainers that I have uh, attended the sessions of, they call it actually the waffle icon. Even Westerners po, they call it waffle icon talaga. Kasi yun yun nag-stick sa tao. So yun po yung purpose. Kaya familiar, uh, familiarize ko lang kayo. If you're already familiar and you didn't need that primer, that's great po. But if you're not that familiar or, uy, first time ko nalaman, omnibox pala yun, then that's great po. Meron tayong natutunang bago kahit pa paano. Ayan po. So that's the different parts of Google. This one would be the tabs, the different tabs that you have open. Later po, itouch din natin siya with history management. Ayan po. So, punta po muna ako sa homepage ko. Kanina po, ang nakita nyo ay ito. Ayan. So, this one po is actually the homepage. And nasa-set nyo siya, remember the house icon that I mentioned, depende sa settings nyo wherein it might go to this, a blank page po, na merong mga shortcuts ng websites na most visited ninyo, na kung hindi nyo po sineset, ay si Google mismo ang nagsiset. Depende po sa browser activity nyo. Pero merong iba kasi, ako personally, ang sineset ko pong homepage ay yung google.com. Bakit? Kasi gamit na gamit ko po si Google. Ayan. And right now, we're lucky kasi we have a Google Doodle. Ayan po, it's for the uh, Olympics. Ayan, Doodle Champion Island Games. Ito yung mga cute na pag kiniklik nyo po. Ayan, may mga counting storyline. Ano po kasi ito? Chempuhan kung kailan sila may Google Doodle. Minsan plain Google lang yan na logo. Pero ngayon po, it's for the... Because the Olympics is uh, ongoing. Ayan, meron din silang paano. Uh, recently po, baka you haven't seen the news, our very own Heidelin Diaz won gold, our very first gold medal po in the Tokyo Olympics for weightlifting. Ayan, so it's all over the headlines na at ang dami yatang nag-offer din na restaurants ng certain discounts, ayan, in celebration of her win. So ayun po, that's a, you know, That's a good news na nakuha natin kalagitnaan nung pandemic, ulan, ayun. Tapos biglang, ayun, breaking news. Gold daw ang Pilipinas, our very first gold. Ayan po. So, this is what Google would usually look like, the Google homepage. Ayan po, google.com if you would like to go. And you may notice some parts here. Ito po si Omnibox or search bar, rather ang tawag nila, search box, ayan, dito po. And it already has the microphone kasi di ba po marami sa devices natin Uh, voice enabled na. Ayun. Hindi po ako personally gumagamit ng voice enabled just because I talk a lot na buong araw. <laughs> Madaldal po kasi talaga ako sa klase ko, sa trabaho. Ayun. So kung pati po sa searches ko ako ay mag voice dictation, baka po ako'y sukuan ng aking boses. So hindi ko po siya ginagamit personally po. However, uh, sometimes tina-try-try ko siya kasi 'di ba pag teachers Uh, we need to be abreast then kung ano yung mga bagong technology. So, nakakatuwa naman siya. Ayun. Hindi ko lang talaga siya paboritong gamitin. The magnifying ano po is, yan, to indicate this sa search bar. Google search po, ito yung karam, uh, tanong namin nun sa high school. Ang pinagkaya man ng feeling laki sa Google search. I'll show you po. For example, I'd like to search for, ano man gusto ko? Mocha cake. Ayan. Pag uh, ganyan po yung inano ko at in-enter ko lang yan or pinindot ko lang yung Google search, usually po ang unang lalabas ay, ayan, recipe. Ayan po. Yan yung mga ano, no? Yung mga unang search. Pero po, pag bumalik ako sa homepage, tas tinay ko ulit si Mocha Cake. And then I do a feeling lucky. I'm feeling lucky. Ayan. Contrary po to popular belief. <laughs> Ayan po. Ang dami po kasi nagsabi nun, ay, pag mo yung I'm feeling lucky, mapupunta ka sa ganito-ganyong website. Yung parang mga scam websites, mga not safe for work websites. However, no po. 
um, I'm feeling lucky just means kung ano po yung mga usual um, search results websites na nasa bandang top 10, ganun. Pipili lang dun si Google. Kung baga parang jackpot, ano, lottery. Super random. Kaya if you notice po, when I click, I'm feeling lucky, dinarek niya ako kagad. And this is the very first, kung naaalala nyo, nyo po yung Google search natin kanina. Ito yung unang lumabas, si Preppy Kitchen with the recipe. Ayan po siya kanina. Uh, gusto niyo po bang i-confirm? Ayan. So, ayan siya, Preppy Kitchen. Babalik po ako dun sa kanina. Ayan. Oops. Hindi ko siya na, ano, na-save. Ayan po. When I did the Google search, ayan po siya. Si Preppy Kitchen na sa tuktok. Yun po. Yun yung si I'm feeling lucky. So, hindi, wala pa naman. Wala naman po siyang, ano, viruses or anything. Yun kasi yung common misconception nun. Kaya, Bihira yung buhi pindot nito. <laughs> Pero hindi po, parang shortcut siya in a sense. Kasi yun nga, um, if you do the search or the enter way, manually clicking ka pa. So yun, that's the main difference po. And now, let's talk about yung sinabi kanina ni Sir Jambi. One way to make your life easier. I was going through the comments po. I'm sorry, I can't shift na kasi I'm only using one monitor. Um, Tapos yun nga, nag prompt naman si ano, StreamYard na dapat dalawa para makita mo yung comments tapos yung presentation mo. Kaya lang isa lang po yung monitor ko. So, I apologize. Kaunti lang po yung nakita kong responses kanina nung simula. I saw some people reply that they have three Google accounts. Yung iba naman, four or five. Meron ako nakita six ang kanyang minamanage. Ayon. And yun yung sinabi ni Sir Franco na ayaw mong gamitin ang Chrome for some. Kasi nga naman, Ang ginagawa ni Chrome, kasi gusto padaliin ni Chrome yung buhay natin eh. Whenever you log in using one of your Google accounts, matik na sinisync niya dito. And I'm pretty sure for teachers po who have their own domains under Google, like at deped.edu po, .ph, if I'm not mistaken. Tapos yung sa po, sa school namin, we also have our own domain. Basta meron kang kakaibang domain and it's under the Google ano po. Tapos may personal Gmail account ka pa. Kadalasan pong naging problema last year ng teachers is ta try nilang i-access yung either yung classroom nila or the meet link or the file. Tapos nag-error -e message na you're not allowed to ganyan. You're not allowed to join this meeting or you cannot join this meeting or you don't have permission to access the file or the folder. Tapos takang-taka sila na eh ako gumawa nun eh bakit wala akong permission? Kasi po hindi nila napapansin dito po Sa Chrome profile, ang naka-default sync kadalasan ay ang personal Gmail accounts natin. So, dati, so magmamanong shift pa ako, mano-manong shift po, ganon. Ayun, so nag, yung iba ganon yung ginagawa, nagmamano-manong shift. Yung iba, um, nilag out na lang lahat, wala na silang sinisync kasi daw masyadong hassle. Pero sabi ko nga sa inyo, Chrome or Google takes notes of those mga ganong ano, take mga ganong feedback. Kasi yung iba nagfi-feedback po talaga kay Google. Yung iba naman, wala lang, nagra-run sila sa social media and it gets picked up by uh, the bots na, ah, okay, so may ganitong feedback. Ayan, so what Google did is, have your own Chrome profiles. Ito po yung sinabi ng isa nating uh, audience member kanina na I have six accounts. They all have their own Chrome profiles. I can set the colors and it has made my life easier. And mukhang natutunan niya rin po ito with one of the KTS sessions with Sir Franco. So, ma'am, paano ba yan? Ganito po siya. So, sabi ko po kanina by default, Dahil, di ba naman po, kapag may bago tayong gadget, usually, ang una natin nila log in ay ang personal account natin. So, makikita nyo po ngayon, ito po yung icon dito sa upper right, katabi po nung fishball or quick quick na icon, yung three dots po. Pag linik nyo siya, lalabas po dyan kung naka-sign in kayo o hindi at kung anong account yon And right now, you may see, I have my nickname there, Nat, pero nakalagay not signed in. And it will offer na, gusto mo bang i-turn on yung sync? Sign in ka na pag clinic ko po yan. So, paano po siya nag-work, ma'am? Um, Chrome or rather Google acknowledges na nowadays, one email is not enough. Before kasi, yun po ang offering nila. One email is enough for everything you need. Pero ngayon po, hindi na siya ganun. <laughs> so, ngayon po, you have the Chrome profiles instead. Wherein, sabi nga na isa nating member kanina, one is for work, one is for personal. I believe one was for her masteral po, ma'am. Ayan, so 
hindi na daw siya problema. So, paano po gumagana yan? Una po, ilalogin ko muna ito. So, ito turn on ko po yung sync. And whenever you do that, it will ask you to re-login po sa inyong um, Google account. Ayan. So, I'm logging in po to my personal account. I am really hoping I don't flash my webs, uh, my password po. Ano? <laughs> Kasi di ba, minsan nagngayari yon by accident, nafa-flash ang password, tapos nakita na ng lahat. O kita mo, wrong password pa ako ngayon. <laughs> Yan po. So, paglalagin niya po kayo. And when that happens po, Ayan, medyo kinabahan ako na baka, oh no, hindi ko siya naalala. Ayan, so pag first time niyo pong mag-sign in, ito ang unang lalabas na prompt. It will ask you if you want to turn on sync. Paano po gumagana ang turning on of sync po? Remember the time we're in ang MacBook, ayan, magbanggit lang po tayo ng ano, MacBooks and iPhones were considered to be more superior than Windows and Android. Bakit daw? Hindi ko rin gets yun nun. Apparently kasi, sa platform nila before, in the iOS, ano, you can sync everything. Kung ano yung nasa laptop mo, na nasa phone mo, you could access in either device. And noon nga naman, admittedly, we did not have that capability sa Android at Windows, even though yun ang mas maraming users. But Google is smart, they pick up on those learning opportunities and that's what they did. Now we have turning on of syncing. So pag tinurn on sync mo po ito, kahit nagpapalit ka ng phone, I don't know if you've uh, experienced that or devices, nakalock in na siya sa Google profile mo. Ayan po. So this is my first Google profile. So if you notice, ayan na, nakadisplay na po ang aking buong pangalan and my email address. Tapos nakalagay na sync is on. So eh ma'am, sabi mo, Google Chrome profiles, may S. So asan yung iba? Ito po yung iba na sinasabi. Sa baba, if you notice other profiles, merong option for guest and by default, meron po yan dyan. But you can add another one. So whenever you have to set your Chrome profile para po sa hindi nakakita, punta po kayo sa inyong Google uh, profile or yung Chrome profile ninyo rather, then scroll down lang po sa baba sa my plus sign and then add. Ayan. So click nyo lang po yan and it will ask you if you want to sign in using a personal uh, Gmail or work Gmail or kung gusto mo kahit walang account, pwede po kung ayaw mo na may i-associate ka na account. Ito yung sinabi nila kanina na you can even customize the colors. For example, I want to label this as work. Kunwari lamang po. And I want to upload the picture or an avatar rather, sorry. Kunwari gusto ko to uh, watermelon. Ayan, kasi cute siya. Minsan po ganun kasi ako pumili ng mga bagay-bagay. Kung cute lang ba o hindi. Yun lang yung basehan. Even the colors, ito po yung sinasabi nilang colors. Or kung ayaw mo tong mga to kasi feeling mo di mo trip, you can personalize it. If you're someone who's familiar with the RGB codes, feel free to play around with this one po. Ayan. Automatic naman siya. Pero iba kasi may specific uh, codes sila. Ayan. So, nasa sa inyo. Preferences lang. So, ayan. So, ano mo lang po yan? Laruin mo lang po. Eh, ako gusto ko tong uh, dark pink and red. Hindi ko kailangan ng desktop shortcut, although you can. Ayan, and then done. Kung mapapansin niyo po, bigla siyang nag-load. Ayan. So, kulay na kulay siya kung anong pinili kong ano, uh, color scheme kanina. No? And if you notice po, ayan, when I click on my Chrome profile, ayan, nakasing po siya kay work. Ayan. So, bakit naging helpful yan, ma'am Nat? E di ba parang, anong pinagkaiba yan dun sa new tab? Yun. Kasi yun yung default ko eh. Marami akong tab na naka-open. Well, the good thing with this po is if a certain website is linked to a specific Google account po, especially yun nang nabanggit ko kaninang my personal domains for their work email addresses, it lessens the hassle po of you needing to change accounts or Chrome profiles palagi. Um, admittedly po kasi, that takes away your productivity in the sense na I mean, uh, meron po kasi tayo mga co-teachers na syempre, hindi pa po nila ganun kagamay si Chrome. Kung sa atin po ang pagpapalit ng profile ay as easy as 1, 2, 3 lang, na hindi nga natin iniisip. For them po, ay malaking tulong to. Parang wow, pwede naman palang hindi ako papalit-palit ng account every now and then. Bakit ko pa pinahirapan yung sarili ko? So, one thing I learned with all the technology advancements, kasi before po ganun yung mentality ko. Bakit may ganyan pa? Pwede naman yung ganito. Parang this one works naman. Ayun po, ganun ako before. Kaya lang po, um, natutunan ko na 
if something doesn't make sense sa iyo kasi feeling mo napakadali niyang gawin, then maybe that product was not created for you. Maybe that feature was not really meant for you, but meant to help someone else. And ever since I read that quote po, actually to be honest, hindi ko maalala kung quote ba yun ng kung sinong uh, tao. So I apologize. Ayun, that's definitely not from me. Pero tumatak po siya sa akin. And nagbago yung outlook ko. Na oo nga, no? nadadalian ako. And this one makes that task na nadadalian na ako. So maybe hindi siya sa akin. Yun po, doon nagbago yung mindset ko. All your accounts po, ayan, you could actually put them in here. You could sign in, ayan. Uh, so far, I'll be honest, I haven't really maximized. I manage eight accounts po, eight work accounts. Sorry, combination na po yun ng personal and work. Ayan, I manage a lot of accounts kasi. Yun, so lahat naman sila na-enter ko. Ayan, so I haven't uh, really, to be honest, I really haven't ex- uh, sorry explored kung alin ang limit nito. Ayun, if anyone knows po sa chat, kindly comment it kung may naranasan nyo na na, tinodo ko yan, up to 99 accounts, ganun. <laughs> yun po, or Chrome profiles, ayun po. Or we could do a quick Google search. Ayun, minsan ganun ako. So, ilan, how many limit Chrome profile? Mga ganun po. I also do that kapag curious ako. So, ayan, and kung napansin nyo po, ito, oh, meron siyang web store na inopen. Pero di ba po yung sa kanina ko, sa personal ko, walang shortcuts. So yun po yung sinasabi kong nagre-recommend si Chrome minsan based on activity. So ayan po, that's for Chrome profiles po. Eh ma'am, bakit meron dyang guest? Sabi mo, automatic, hindi ko yan kailangan gawin. Guest po kasi is not really as incognito. Um, some think na dahil yung itsura ng guest profile, Chrome profile, ay parang incognito. So incognito din yan. Um... No, yes na no, in a sense. Bakit po yes na no? In incognito po, when you go incognito, ayan, let me go back here. Ayan, so if you have to go incognito, ayan po, you could go here, sa quick, quick, ano, sa quick, quick icon po, and click on your incognito window. Ayan po, ito po yung issue na ng incognito window. However po, if you will notice, sa incognito window, you still have full access sa bookmarks bar mo sa lahat po ng settings ni Google Chrome mismo. However po, kay guest account, close ko lang po itong si Incognito. Yun po. Kung babalikan natin si guest account, ay nawala siya. Ayan, open ko na lang ulit. Si guest account po, ayan, wala po kong access dun sa mismong settings ng browser. Bakit po? Because the guest profile is meant for you to use if you are using somebody else's device. Ayan. Not really incognito kasi pwede mo pang pakialamanan yung browser settings niya. So, di ba po sa netiquette, um, as much as possible, if it's not our device, we don't touch the settings no matter how ano siya. Kasi that's not ours in respect of their ano. Pero ito. So, ito kung kailangan mo lang naman ng mabilis ang Google lang or I just need to log into my email, makikicheck lang ako saglit. Ayan. This is the pur- uh, purpose po of the guest ano. Ayan, so to protect your own data at the same time, kung makikigamit po tayo, out of respect, kasi hindi po siya mag ng browsing history. Ayan po. So, yan yung uh, use ni guest tab. Pero again, not much people know the Chrome, different Chrome profiles yet. So, you might wanna share. Lalo na kung nagpapagamit kayo. Maybe for some na may kids po, kasi ako, I have four kids. So, sometimes they have to use my laptop. And ayun nga po yung problem ko dati. Um, meron silang pinapanood minsan sa YouTube. Yung mga, ano po, um, Roblox na accounts. Tapos nasisync siya sa work account ko. So, nagugulat na lang ako mamaya. Nakasubscribe daw ako kay ganito ganyan. May email alert pa. <laughs> so, ayun po. Doon ako na ano na, ano to? Tapos kinakabahan ako na baka may naka, nangialam na ng work account ko. Ganun. Tapos yung pala, Ayan, yung mga anak ko po. <laughs> so, with this one, we eliminate yung mga ganong instances po. Ayan. So, that's for our Chrome profiles po. It is fairly new. Uh, I believe ngayong July po siya nag-roll out sa akin. Ayan, baka po kasi na una yung inyo. Pero, dun ko po siya una napansin na, uy, iba na itsura nito na nag-update si Chrome one time. Tapos, in-explore, explore ko na, alam, may iba-ibang profiles. Eh, ma'am, paano kung ayan, gumawa ko ng work, eh, pero ayoko niyan. You could just go to the settings bar. Uh, sorry, the settings uh, ano po, icon, the gear icon here. And then, papakita niya sa iyo yung work profiles na mayroon ka. 
and you could just delete one. Ayan. So, i-delete mo siya or kung gusto mong i-edit, ayan, you could also edit po kung gusto mo siyang i-personalize. Kung wari nagkamali ka ng color or nagbago isip mo. Ayan. Even the avatar, pwede mo po siyang i-personalize. Ayan po. So, that's for syncing. Um, ito po yung naging problem, na-mention ka na naging problem before. Kasi nga, the syncing is automatic. It was meant to make our lives easier. But for those not that um, fast in adapting sa technology, ayun, Google found a way to make it easier. And maybe for multitaskers too, naisip nga siguro nila na yung iba pag work, work. Therefore, you use the Chrome profile for work. Ganun po. So, yan. That's very interesting. Ngayon, mabalik po tayo sa new tab, sa dating gawi. Eh, ma'am, sabi mo, Chrome profile lang sagot para hindi na ako tad-tad ng tab. Oh, um, pagpalagay po natin ganito karaming tab nyo. Um, can I see a number po? Ilang tabs kadalasan ang nakabukas sa inyo if it's work-related? <laughs> Babalikan ko po mamaya. I can't see the comments right now. But ako, ang minimum number of tabs ko po palagi ay sampu. <laughs> work-related po yun. And then, there are times na bigla kong parang random lang. O, ano nga pala yung ganito? Tapos, parang random Google ako. So, dadagdag siya. Ayan po. And minsan, naiiwan ko siya. Kasi nga po, uh, I just switch between my classes. Tapos, pagtapos na yung classes, I do admin work. So, nakatiwangwang yan. And, naranasan ko na po yung namamali ako ng sara ng tab or nalilito ko anong tab yung magkakatabi or magkakasama, rather, kahit pagtabay-tabihin ko sila. So, I have a trick for you. Baka alam mo na to, pero kung hindi, sana mapagaan niya ang buhay mo. You have an option po to group different tabs in Google Chrome. Paano po yun? For example po, itong uh, one, two, three, itong anim na tab na po ito. Let's say you're doing your research po. Kunwari, uh, may sarili kang research paper na ang dami mo kasing kailangan i-check na ano, um, for citations na gagamitin mo sa papel. So, hindi mo afford isara ni isa sa mga yan. Kaya lang, you also need to check on your work email kasi may kailangan kang tapusing report mamayang gabi. So, paano na? Ganyan na lang balagi karami yung tabs. One way po for you to also help shift your focus is grouping your tabs. Paano po yun? So, dito po, merong mano-mano or kung sanay ka naman sa keyboard shortcuts, which will also touch a bit mamaya, then... Either of the two po. Again, more on preferences po ako. Hindi kailangan gawin mo siya a certain way. Whatever works for you po. Ayan. So, una po is itong tab na to. Let's say, dito kung gustong magsimula. Right click po and click on Add Tab to New Group. Ayan po. So, when you do that, meron pong lalabas na ganito, maliit na pop-up menu, asking you to name this group. Ibig sabihin po, anong gusto mong itawag sa mga tabs na to? So, let's say research. Yan po yung gusto ko ipangalan. Eh, kung mapapansin nyo po, nagkaroon siya bigla ng parang maliit na label. Ah, nakalimutan ko yung tawag doon. Yung uso po noon, yung dai, 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 dai mo ba yun? Yung mga labels po noon, naalala nyo ba yun? Yung halos sampung taon na yata yun. Yung lahat na lang nilalabelan natin. Naranasan nyo rin po ba yun? Ayun po. So, yun, napagdaanan ko yun. And ganyan yung itsura niya. So, tuwang-tuwa ako sa kanya. You can also customize the colors. Um, however po, medyo limited ang color na ibinigay sa atin ni Google. Unlike dun sa Chrome profiles. So, let's say I'm gonna go with this teal. I think teal siya. Or blue-green. Ayun, hindi po ako ganun ka ano sa artist. Ayun. So, blue-green, kunwari. Ayan. So, yan po. Pag linose mo siya, Ay po, kaya pansin nga, di ba nawala yung kanina may Google? Pero hindi po siya nagsara. Technically, natupi. Natupi lang po siya. So, andyan pa rin siya. Ayan po. Paano ko po pwedeng i-add tong mga to? Pwede pong i-drag ko lang siya. Kung mapansin nyo po, nag-extend yung kulay. So, dalawa na silang sumasara. Pwede rin naman pong imamano-mano kung add tab to new group. Right-click ako ulit sa bagong tab. Add to research na group. Pwede rin naman po kung minsanan, press control Pindutin mo po isa-isa habang pindut mo yung control. Pindutin mo lahat ng natitirang tab. And then either drag it dito. Ayan. Ayaw niya madrag. Joke lang. So, gagawin natin. <laughs> right click, add tabs to group. Ayan. Ayan po. Kung mapapansin nyo, nawala. Nawala lahat ng ano. So, yan po yung one way. Tapos, gawa ka ulit ng isa. Kung wari, ito naman yung work email mo. Ayan po. That's one good way to manage. Nung na-discover ko po to, 
nakalimutan ko na kailan ko to na discover. Alam ko po tinatry ko pa yung hack nito nung kung hindi pa siya offered av- ano, readily. Pinapaki- Nag-google search ako na ano yung kailangan ko i-type sa store para magawa ko siya. Mga ganun po. Kasi again nga po, buting tingera ko with Google. Ayun. Um, if you're the type na gusto mo rin magbuting ting pero natatakot kang masira mo yung Google, uh, don't po. It's a website. <laughs> I doubt kaya po natin siyang sirain. Ayun. So, buting ting all you want po. If it doesn't work, close it. Then, start all over again. Ganun lang po. So, yun. That's, uh, I find this very helpful po. Especially if I'm multitasking on several concerns na magkakaiba. Hindi sila connected. Like, gagawa ko ng research paper ko or ng assignment ko sa MA. Pero I also need to tutok on my work email. May chinechikan na kong something. Or may personal akong binabrowse. Ayun po. Um, the grouping of the tabs is very helpful po. And then later on, ayan, you could just, pagtapos ka na, pwede mong i-ungroup para maghiwa-hiwalay sila ulit or pwede mo, dyang, uh, pwede mo lang po siyang i-close. Ayan. So, that's one trick that I learned. Another one po regarding tabs is, di ba sabi ko po kanina, I always have a lot of tabs open. And how, no matter how good you are uh, with your keyboard, it still uh, happens na biglang may mapipindot ka kasi ang bilis nga nung kamay mo. So, whenever I ha- I want to avoid po na may maa-accidente akong mako-close na tab, I also use the pin tab feature which is right-click, pin. Whenever you do that, kung napansin nyo po, ayan, nag, uh, le- minimize siya. Ayan, and yung logo na lang nung website yung makikita nyo. And no matter how you try, hindi mo po ito mako-close. Ayan. Hindi siya, wala na yung, I mean, wala na close icon dito, yung X. Uh, this is a lifesaver po, especially nung uh, kakastart po ng online classes and I have Meet. I was, we were using Meet po kasi for our classes. So, syempre, di ba, may presentation ako dito, meron akong Meet dito, meron akong email dito, tapos yung Google Chat din po kasi baka kontakin ako ng uh, ibang teachers, ayon or students. So, naka-open lahat yon And hindi po naiiwasan na hindi naman yung end call button yung napipindot ko. Ang sakit ko po nun, yung close button ng napipindot ko sa tab. So, nagugulat na lang yung mga estudyante ko. Gitna po kami ng discussion. Tapos, very uh, passionate ako sa pagdi-discuss. Bigla daw nawala ako. Ako din nagtataka na, parang wala ako narinig sa mga students ko. Yung pala na-close ko na siya. So, yun po, naiiwan ko siya. And even kahit i-close nyo po yung mismong browser, uh, once you reopen the browser, yung mga nakapin nyo po na tabs, nandyan pa rin sila, they will just reload. Kasi syempre, you close the browser. Pero nandyan sila. Um, very helpful, especially if you have to access certain websites, siguro at the start of your day. Kami po, we have to log in sa school namin. We have to log in for work, parang DTR, ayun, using Google Forms. So, to save time, minsan, pinipin ko po yung Google Form link namin para pag in ko si laptop ko in the morning, maglo-load na rin po siya when I open Chrome. So, yun, those are some hacks po that you might find useful kung in case hindi pa kayo familiar. So, yan. So, that's for the uh, first uh, part po of the discussion about Google Chrome. So, very basic. Again, kung alam mo na, good for you. I hope you keep educating others po and sharing it. In case, ngayon mo lang din alaman yung ilan sa na-share ko, that's okay. I was today's years, uh, today years old. Lagi ko sinasabi yun. I was today years old when I learned tapos yung bago kong learning. Ayan, kasi nakakatuwa, no? Regardless of how old you are, eh, I learned something new, eh. Ayan, so, I'm gonna try it. Ganun ako lagi. So, yun po, that's for our first part. Ayan. Ngayon po, let's go naman sa medyo technical na. However, ito yata kasi yung ibang inaano ng, uh, I mean, for others kasi, hindi nga sila komportable. You will always hear some teachers, or majority even, claim, hindi kasi ako techie. Ayan. That's what they would always say. And you understand it din naman. Kasi, di ba, ang hirap na sabihin mong kaya ko, sabay later on, hindi ko pala kaya. So, and teachers, hindi tayo sanay, di ba, when that happens. Kaya, I understand that. Pero this time, let's go a bit more technical into Google Chrome. Pero, we'll make it easy para po sa inyo. Let's go po muna with the history management. Uh, isa po to sa mga na-overlook natin kadalasan kasi nga, again, Google Chrome is just your means to get to your destination. Dead ma tayo kadalasan. So, for history management po, yun po yung uh, history 
ito, andito na siya. So, go to your, our best friend right now is the quick, quick, <laughs> the quick, quick icon po. So, click it and you will see history po. Ayan. Shortcut pin, oops, shortcut din po dito is by using the control H. Ayan. So, mapapansin nyo po na mamaya, tatouch din naman natin ng keyboard shortcuts. Si Google Chrome, kasi nga diba, their goal is to make their uh, platform as user-friendly as possible. And the Google shortcuts are not, sorry, keyboard shortcuts, I mean, the keyboard shortcuts are not for everyone po. Ayun, aminin natin yan. Yung iba, simpleng pagpindot ng control alt delete nahihirapan po sila. Diba? Ayun. So, dahil alam ni Google na hindi naman lahat tayo kayang i-memorize lahat ng Google uh, keyboard shortcuts, kung mapapansin nyo, when they also did the update, I believe a few months ago na to, bigla na lang po nakalagay na siya dyan. Ayan, yung keyboard shortcut. So, hindi ko alam kung napansin ng iba sa inyo, pero di ba andyan na siya? So, if you're asking ano yung keyboard shortcut for this, for that, ayan. Admittedly, hindi ko po kabisado lahat. The ones that I would often use are yung parang muscle memory ko na. Pero ayun nga po, nag-gets ni Google na bakit ko papahihirapan yung users ko? E di ilagay ko dito kung ano yung shortcut para sa specific feature na yan. Para kada makikita niya, in a sense, ingrained sa memory nga, and then mamaya muscle memory na lang din. So, yun po. Yun yung kanilang ano doon. And I find that really smart, personally. Ayan po. So, for history management, minsan po, whenever we have problems with our browser, ayun, nagbabagal si Meet, hindi ko ma-load ang ganito ganyan. Ayan po. Maybe, hindi po natin nakiklear ang ating history, cache, and cookies. Ayan, syempre po, our devices can only take so much, lalo na kung heavy users po tayo ng Chrome sa araw-araw na ginawa ng Diyos. Ayan, so we need to take care din po of Chrome. And one way of helping Chrome is by managing your history. So, to, re uh, to reach or go to history po, ayun nga po, si quick quick icon, and then history or control H po. Either of the two is fine. Pagpunta nyo po dito, ayan, you should see all of the websites that you have visited. Depende po kung gano'n kayo kadalas maglinis. It could be from the start that you had your device, kung di kayo nagde-delete ever. Or pwede namang recently lang. Baka every ano ka, eh, nagde-delete ka. Or baka wala akong makikita dyan kasi naka-auto-delete kasi yung ano ko, settings ko. So yun po, pwede nyo siyang i-ano. And you may also notice that Chrome history ang nakalag dito sa left side nyo po, kung makikita ninyo, Chrome history, sa mismong device po na ina-access mo ngayon, you may also see tabs from other devices. And this one po is from your synced devices po. Uh, yung iba dito, cellphone, para sa cellphone nila. Kasi naka-sync nga. Ayan po. So, ayan siya. So, ayan po, list of licensure exams para po sa mga maglilit na teachers, good luck po. I'm praying for you. Hindi po ako nakasama sa first batch. So, abang-abang din po ako ng pangalan ko sa susunod. <laughs> PC Hub po. Ah, nagtatry ako mag-build ng custom PC with my husband. So, masayang tignan kung ano po yung mga parts <laughs> na pwedeng pagsamasamahin tapos magkano aabutin. Ayun. And then, the Sims 4 po. Ako pa naglalaro ng Sims 4, pero po for some reason, gustong-gusto kong gumagamit ng cheats, kaya ayan po, may ganyan ako. And why being nice makes you a better leader. Nanon ko pa po si Nave, hanggang ngayon hindi ko pa nababasa. <laughs> BPI online as well, pag nagchat-chat po ng BPI account. So ayan po yung mga naka-open, at ito po yung pangalan ng device ninyo. Ayan, so dyan yung po makikita, um, kung marami po kayong devices na nakalog in yung same account, ito, ito pong personal account nyo na nakasync sa Chrome profile na ito, lalabas po siya dyan lahat. Ayan. Ngayon po, the clear browsing history is a good thing to manage po. Ayan. Sa iba, nakaset to ng, ayan, yung iba pumupunta lang ng basic. Parang kiniclear lang nila for this session, tapos ayan, back to normal na. Pero ako po, personally, I go sa advanced and then all time. As in, binubura ko po lahat para mabawasan po yung, ayun, sa cache, yung sa ano. Mas maganda po kasi yung performance ng uh, Chrome afterwards. Lalo na kung ang dami ko pong dinownload na files, ayun, kasi nga, more on data ano ko. So, yun po, lagi akong sa advanced. Yung iba po, naka ano rito, nakaset sila last 24 hours, automatic. Ayun. Ay, ayun po. I mean, yun na yung gusto nilang burahin, last 24 hours. Ako po kasi all time lang. Tapos iniiwanan ko na siya. So, ayun po, whichever you prefer again, 
Pero ayan po, it will help you with your history management. Na overlook po madalas, pero yun nga, malit na bagay, very helpful. Maano ma over, uh, ma overlook, madaling ma overlook. And in conjunction with your history po, the history management are your downloads as well. So balik po tayo kay quick quick icon, and nasa baba lang po siya ng history. Yan. And to access it, the keyboard shortcut for that is Control J. So, to try ko rin po, Control J. I'm pressing it right now. Oops, close ko lang siya. Control J. Ayan po. So, nung screen nose ko po na Control J ako sa keyboard ko. Ayan. So, and if you notice, dalawa lang po yung dinownload kong sample. This one is the Van Gogh, ano. And this one is the Google logo. Sample lang po para may papakita ko. Ayan. The other po kasi are school files. Ayan, so, I can't share. So, ayan po. So, sa download, ano naman po, dito nyo po makikita lahat. Um, kung hindi nyo ito kiniclear, remember when meron kayong file na, dinownload ko na siya eh. Hindi ko siya makita sa PC ko. Ayan. You could actually use the download search bar po. Ayan. So, kunwari itong si download GFIF. Ayan. Hindi ko lang alam kung lalabas siya kasi van ko. Ayan, hindi. Kailangan yung file name niya. Pero ayan po, this is helpful for looking back na positive kang na-download mo, hindi mo lang siya mapakita kasi meron po siyang show in folder link. Ayan. Pag clinic nyo po yan, mag-open siya sa inyong kung sa man pong path, desktop path, napunta yung file. Ayan po. So, very helpful. Kung hindi mo na siya kailangan, clearing the browsing history would also clear this out po. Ayan. Pero yun nga, kung very heavy ka, marami kang din-download for the day, hindi ka pa nagkiklear, pero may hinahanap kang file. Yung iba sasabihin, eh, download mo na lang. However po, yung iba mas efficient, uh, gusto nila mas efficient sila. So, they'll try to look for here sa downloads, uh, ano po, history. Ayan, kasi andyan po lahat. As long as you don't clear your browsing history. Andyan din po siya. Ayan po. So, that's for downloads. History and downloads. Usually, magka, ano po sila, magkasama. Ayan. Now, next po would be your bookmarks. And bookmarks, uh, feeling ko, isa ako sa na-survey ni Google dito eh. Kasi, bukod po sa bookmarks bar, ayan, and bookmarks uh, manager, nagdagdag sila ng bago, which is the reading list. Ito pong nakikita nyo rito. So, ano pong pinagkaiba ng dalawang yan? Uh, bookmarks bar po are, you can personalize it how you want it to be ano, fixed or arranged rather. Whereas, ang reading list po, literal na reading list lang siya. Na parang sinave mo lang kasi you're supposed to read it and then later on, i-clear mo siya. Pero dun po muna tayo kay bookmarks uh, manager. Ayan. So, this bar po na nakikita ninyo sa ilalim ng Omnibox ay ang tinatawag na bookmarks bar. Yung iba po, baka yung mga na-encounter nyo yung devices, wala kayo nakikita ganyan kasi pwedeng hindi nila pinapakita yung bookmarks bar nila. So, kung ganyan po yung nakikita nyo Omnibox, dalawa lang yan. Walang nakasave na bookmark or nakatago po. If that's the case, kasi nangyari to sa akin nun and nagpanik ako, akala ko po lahat ng aking bookmark ay nawala na. Pero hindi po. You just go dito po sa mismong uh, tuktok, right click, ayan, and then, ayan po. Sorry about that, ayan. So, kung makikita niyo po, bookmark all tabs, may ganyang option. Meron ding task manager. Ayan. But, here po, if you would go to bookmarks, ayan po yung show. Gaganyan lang siya ulit. Ayan. Medyo, ano yun, nakakasave ng card attack. Kasi na, <laughs> akala ko talaga nun. So, ayan po, makikita niyo marami, medyo marami akong bookmarks. Let's open po my bookmarks manager. Ayan. So, bookmark manager. Yan. Maglo-load po siya dyan parang website. Also, uh, remember what I said na sinisync nga kasi ni Google lahat. Kaya po meron na siyang option to import bookmarks and settings. Um, very helpful po to, especially nung may panahong nawalan ako ng cellphone. So, syempre, di ba, usually we personalize our gadgets sa kung paano siya komportable sa atin. Kasi ang priority natin sa pag-aayos is more on the accessibility and para sa iba naman yung itsura niya. So, what happened was na wala po yung phone na nakaw, tapos naayos ko na siya. Kung baga parang dependent ako sa phone na yun for work and personal use. Tapos yun nga, nawala. Buti na lang po, nakasync siya sa aking Google account, yung personal account. So, nung nakakuha po ako ng bagong device after makapag-ipon, ayun, clinic ko po yung import bookmark, uh, bookmarks and settings. Tapos, ayan po. Yan po yung mangyayari. Isis i-ano uh, niya yung setting. Ayan siya. Ayan. So, nakasync nga kasi 
minsan hindi mo na nga kailangan i-click yun kasi po basta nakasync, mag-aano na siya. Yung nakikita niya na setting up, ganun. Yun po. But anyway, balik tayo kay Bookmarks Manager. Ito pang itsura ng bookmarks. Um, if you notice, bakit yung sayo ano lang, walang text, gaya po nito, ayan, 150 best, frequently asked questions, ganyan. But wala pong ganyan, binubura ko po. <laughs> Kasi gusto ko po siya mukhang minimalist. May ganun po akong uh, moments. So, gaya po nito, si Twitter icon, ayan, if you click it, it's twitter.com, and then, pwede ko po siyang i-edit na nakalagay na https twitter.com. Pwede naman po yan. Yan po yung default niya actually pag sinave mo siya as a bookmark. Nakaganyan po. Kaya lang kasi nagtitik po siya ng space. And gusto ko nga po kasi mukhang minimalist. So, ine-edit ko lang po. Binubura ko siya. Ayan. Yung name. Huwag po yung URL. <laughs> kasi yan po yung binubookmark niya. Yung name lang po binubura ko. And kilala ko naman po kasi by icon. Tapos yun. Maganda siya sa paningin ko. Kaya po actually ito minsan dinidelete ko yan. Ayan, for example po, ayan, right click, delete. Tapos so, mawala na po siya, hindi na siya bookmarked. Ngayon po kung na-delete uh, mo naman siya by accident, ayan, click nyo lang po ulit yung star icon or the bookmark icon, tapos masasave po siya ulit. You have the option now, kay bookmark icon, whether you want it to be a bookmark or a reading list. So, ayan po. Uh, this one is manageable by using different folders po. If you notice, ayan, yung mga icons ko dito, I just use the emojis po, yung copy-paste na emojis kasi again, I wanted it to look cute. Cute or minimalist, hindi ko na sure, pero ayan po. Tapos, naka, ano lang siya, ayan, naka-sort po yung MIL, kasi yun po yung subject ko, senior high in general, uh, grad school, ayan, mga MOOCs, GCE trainings, ayun po, yung panahon na wala akong kaide-idea, how is it Um, uh, how's the process to be a GCE 1, GCE 2, trainer, ganon. Puro bookmark po ako kasi lahat binabasa ko, lahat pinapanood ko. So, ayun po. And, ayan, pwede mo siyang i-drag. Yun, yun nga po yung rito. Kasi, for example, ito po, gusto ko siya ilipat dito. Hindi ko po kailangan right-click, tapos edit, tapos iisa-isahin ko siya dito sa bookmark na, ah, gusto ko mapunta siya dito. Hindi ko po kailangan gawin yan. Kung gusto ko siya dito mapunta, I just need to drag it. Tapos mapupunta na po siya doon. Nasa pinakababa po. Ayun. So, ayun. Ganun po yung, ana. Uh, they made it really user-friendly. Kasi nga iba, drag-drag lang. Or kung naka-tablet. Ayun po. But anyway, ayun. Going back. So, nabanggit ko kayo na, diba? It's either bookmark or reading list. So, sa reading list po kasi, it's meant to be a temporary ano lang po. Ayun. So, kung mapapansin nyo, wala akong way to personalize how it is arranged, unlike sa bookmarks po. Um, To be honest, ang ginagawa ko kay reading list, kung wari po gagawa ako ng assignment ko sa majors, andito siya. So, share ko po yung mga link na nandito ngayon. Ayan po, nagtitingin kasi ako ng washing machine. And nakalagay po, gaano katagal mo nang in-access yung link na yan. So, ito po, um, 1.30 days ago. So, dalawang buwan. Dalawang buwan mahigit na ago, <laughs> nagtingin po ako ng mga washing machine. <laughs> yung isa sa Abenson, yung isa sa SM Appliance. I also have my LinkedIn profile. Ayan, pag chinect mark mo po, mamamark as unread. Ayan, pag ganyang filled in na yung check. Pag ganito po yung check sa taas, ayan, wala pang fill in. Transparent, in a sense. Hindi mo pa siya nababasa. Uh, nababasa, sorry. Nababasa. Tapos unread ang nakalagay. Tapos yan lang po siya. Kung warin nabasa ko na to, check ko po. Mapupunta lang siya dito sa baba. But that's it. Tapos pwede ko siyang uh, i-delete na. Ganyan. Ayan po, gaya nito, puro ko nood nun ng mga, uh, sa linguistics po, kasi yun po yung isa sa aking subject sa MA. So, kailangan ko siya intindihin. So, may ganood-nood ako. Tapos, ayan, basa-basa po ng mga files. So, ayan po. Um, I do this in the sense na, to be honest po, more on preference nyo lang. Diyan tayo magkakatalo. Pero kasi po na, parang na-train ko yung utak ko na, pag nasa reading list, kasi parang urgent siya. So, gaya niyan, gagawa ko ng assignment, anito na lahat ng kailangan ko. Click-click na lang ako. Pero pag bookmark po kasi sa akin, parang this is something that you will always um, access or baka long-term ano mo siya, resource material mo. So, nandito siya sa bookmark. Yun po. Yun yung way ng, again, that's my own system po. I'm pretty sure you have yours and whatever works for you po, if that's what works, then great. If you try something new and it works, then yes, that's good. If it doesn't work, mas gusto ko yung sistema ko eh, then that's okay po. Wala pong masama doon. So that's for
bookmark, uh, that's for bookmarks naman po. Ayan. So, very ano, na dinadrag-drag. Before kasi hindi po siya nadadrag. Nung ako po ay nasa high school. Pero ngayon, ayan, lahat nadadrag na. Kaya nga minsan bigla nawawala. Kasi namamali tayo ng drag. Ayan po. So, that's for uh, bookmarks po. And the reading list. For some extra Chrome features naman po, yung iba po kasi itatouch din ni Sir uh, Franco for the web store, Chrome web store po. And the advanced search for Google. So, ililive ko na po yun sa kanya. But more on ano na lang po ko sa keyboard shortcuts. Ayun. So as I mentioned po kanina, hindi po ako expert with keyboard shortcuts. To be honest po, ang kabisado kong keyboard shortcuts ay Control Shift T. Ano po yung Control Shift T? Pag meron po akong na-close na tab. For example, ito pong si History. Kailangan ko siya, pero bigla akong na-close. Hala, na-close ko, kailangan ko pa. Control Shift T. Bukas po siya ulit, maglo-load. Uh, I can't say how many times na na-save niya yung ano ko kasi nga, di ba po minsan kapag hilo-hilo ka na sa dami ng tabs, yun nga po yung wala pa yung Chrome profiles, ayun. So, control shift po, isa yan sa aking gamit na gamit. Yung isa naman po is yung panahon, kapanahon ng puro tab, wala pang option to group. So, ayan, for example. Tapos, let's say, ang kailangan ko mapuntahan ay itong specific tab na to, google.com. Ayan po. Kunwari, ayan. So, pang ilan siyang tab? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Napakalayo mo naman, kaibigan. Lipat kita dito, mas malapit. <laughs> so, 1, 2, 3, 4. Ayun, kawari, pang apat po. Tapos, kunwari po, nandito ako sa pinakadulo. Imbis po na iisa-isahin ko siya, ayun, I could click on control, keyboard shortcut po, nandito ako sa unang kaduludulhang tab, the control icon po, and then the number 4. Napunta po ako sa kanya. Kung technically, pang, kung pang ilan po siya. So, ayun. Bibilangin mo pa. To be honest po, kung di ka sanay, bibilangin mo pa pang ilang tab. Parang mas mabilis pang clinic ko na lang, ma'am. Ah, yes po. Pag hindi tayo sanay. Pero kapag alam mo agad na sampu yung tab ko, yung tab na kailangan ko ay pang anim So, control, six. Pumatalon-talon na po siya. Ayun. And as always, uh, this is what Google has taught me. Ayun. And all the Google, uh, aspiring Google educators po, na you always utilize Google kasi it's there to make your life easier. And as much as possible, ito rin yung sinasabi ko sa students ko in my classes, kung hindi mo alam ang isang bagay, okay lang yun. Hindi siya kabawasan ng pagkatao mo. Better pang aminin mo, hindi ko kasi sure eh, <laughs> Google natin, kesa you give something tapos baka namali ka ng information. So ayan po, you could actually just type sa Omnibox Chrome keyboard shortcuts and it will appear in here. Ayan po. So, merong pang Windows and Mac kasi remember nung time na yun na ay sa Windows ganito. Wala akong Windows, naka MacBook ako. Ay, di ko alam yan. O kaya naka MacBook ako, ganito yung pinipindot ko. Hindi ko magana. Ay, magamit mo. Windows. Oh, di ko alam yan. Mga ganun. Di ba po? Ngayon, they've already made this. Windows and uh, Linux. Isa pa po yun kasi nasa West. Gamit na gamit din siya na OS. And then for Mac. Ayan, so, andito na silang lahat. So, if you don't memorize the shortcuts, again, that's fine po. Google is making it easier for you. Ayan, so, we have ito. Nandito na siya, Control T, Control N. Nagagamit ko rin po ito minsan. Pero, to be honest, kasi minsan, andyan na yung mouse ko sa X. Eh, este sa plus side. Bago ko pa isip na, Control T ka na lang for new tab. Ayan, may ganun po akong moments. Ayan, and then, the Control N as well. Kapag, ayan, gusto ko ng new window, Kunwari, mag-shift ako to a new Chrome profile po. Ayan. Or incognito window, control shift n Ayan. Pagkwari, may vini-verify akong website na pinasa nung ano ko. <laughs> nung studyante ko po. Ayan. Pag kailangan mag-do diligence. Ayan. So, yan po yung mga shortcuts. And sabi ko nga, ayan na siya. Nilagay na po siya ni Google to make it easier for us. Isa po kasi to sa um, na-request last time na I joined uh, Google for... Google Workspace for Education Training ng KTS. Tapos sabi, keyboard shortcuts daw. Tapos to be honest, sabi ko, hindi po kasi ako nagki-keyboard shortcuts madalas. Yung control shift lang, pag na-close ko siya, yung control H sa history, yon. Tapos control V, control C. In fact, kung maaalala nyo po, di ba po kapag may kinakopy tayo, pag para makopy siya, control C ang keyboard shortcut mo. O kaya para makat, Control X. Ayan po, di ba? Nawala. Tapos, pag gusto mo siya i-replace, Control V. 
Kaya lang po, remember what I said, di tayo lahat ay kayang uh, gawin yan kahit sabihin mong napakagali. If you haven't noticed yet, go to the quick, quick icon. Meron pong edit, cut, copy, and paste. Nilagay din po nila yan dyan. For websites na kunwari to, paano ko ba ikakapi tong Chrome keyboard shortcut? Click po the icon habang naka-highlight. Cut. Nawala po. Ayun. Tapos, paano ko ba ipipaste? Nawala ko. Nakat ko. Quick, quick icon. Paste. Ayan. So, even the control find po, ay, ay control F, lagi akong control find kasi find siya. Di ba po pag nagbabrowse kayo, andyan din siya. Ayan. So, keyboard. Nakahighlight siya lahat. Nilalagay na po or ini-integrate na ni Chrome as much as possible. Kasi nga, ayun. Even the control, ano po, oh, control P or print, nandyan na siya. Dati, kapag gusto mong i-print directly at hindi mo alam ang keyboard shortcut, good luck. Pero ngayon po, pinadali na nila. So, ayun po. That's actually the entirety of what I have to offer for our Google Chrome workaround. And for some, basic to, but you may be surprised how for others, pwede ko palang gawin yun. And before I end po yung what I have to share, kasi Sir Franco would still have something po. One thing na na-overlook natin madalas is si Chrome mismo ay kailangang ina-update. Paano ko po siya i-update? Before po, hindi ko naintindihan yung update-update ng mga software. Ayun, hindi ko po siya naintindihan. Pero ngayon, Chrome made it easier. Go to the quick-quick icon, click help, ayan, sa baba po, and then click about Google Chrome. If you notice po, ayan, matik siyang mag-work ng busy icon and iti-check niya kung anong version. Um, I noticed po, whenever my co-teachers, kasi parang ako po yung go-to ano ng department namin pag something's not working. And I would often ask, ano po yung Google Chrome version nila? And syempre, that's a technical term. Hindi naman alam lahat. Version 92.0, ganyan. So parang, ano yun, ma'am? So, ah, update mo, sir, yung Google mo. Uh, three dots po, help about Google Chrome. Pag niload po nila yan, matik na siyang magda-download. And then, pag sinabi niyang Google Chrome is up to date, ayan, nakalagay yung latest version, kadalasan po yung nire-report nilang issues sa akin with technical um, hardware, ayan, na si Meet, di gumagana, yung camera ko, ganito, ganyan, or si Classroom, ganito, ganyan, nasa-solve po siya. And this little trick can help save you perhaps from the headache of troubleshooting everything. Yun pala, hindi lang na-update si Google Chrome po. Ayan. So, uh, hopefully, that one helped you with the settings po. Ayan. Ito yung mga nadaanan natin before. We're in the safety check as well. Password manager kasi nga, they want it to be a one-stop shop. If you wanted to check, ako meron akong dalawang compromised passwords. Kaya hindi ko na yan ikiklik kasi nakakahiya po. Hindi ko rin siya, hindi ko siya pinapakilaman. <laughs> Ayan po. Clear the browsing data. Andito siya. Ito yung sinasabi ko kanina. Privacy sandbox po. Uh, that's parang ano lang. A bit of trial. Ayan. Kung gusto mo i-on, i-on mo. Kung ayaw mo. And the good thing with ano is, you could always, ano po, um, personalize. So kung meron kang nakikita dyan na, Tinatrack nila yung data mo, supposedly, but you are very careful about your digital footprints. Ayaw mo, you could always turn it off po. Kung baga parang they try to be transparent din. Alin yung kinukuha nilang info from you. So, ayan, two compromised passwords. Hindi ko na po yan nagalaw ever since. So, hindi ko na siya, hindi ko na siya i-click para sa inyo kasi mapapiya lang ako. Ayan po. Uh, and then, lahat po ng mga ino-autofill nyo, they will always ask yung key po na lumalabas dito, di ba? If you're logging in, kung gusto mong tandaan niya yung password mo, ayun, that might that might be helpful po for you if you are using a lot of passwords, but it would still help kung alam talaga natin siya. Pero ayun nga, for others, easier na lang siya. Appearance po, ayun, kaya yung sinabi kong ba't iba itsura ng akin, may theme po kasi ako, mamaya itatouch ni Sir Franco ang web store, Uh, kung saan ko siya nakuha. Doon lang din po ako mukuha sa Chrome Web Store. Kaya ganito po yung itsura nung akin. The Chrome extensions po, ayan, kay Sir Franco din po siya later. But these are some of my favorites. And isa po itong Chrome extension. Yung nakikita niyo magandang view na yan. Kasi hindi pa ako nakatravel outside of the country. <laughs> ayan po. So I hope you picked something. Let me just close some other tabs po.
So, uh, maraming salamat po for joining me for, I think, over an hour din of your time. I know, I know you're very busy po. So, the fact na pinagbigyan nyo ng oras or pinaglaanan nyo ng oras yung webinar po for this is more than enough. I am going to be looking forward po later sa evaluation forms na ififill. I mean, evaluation forms from you para po ma-improve ko pa kasi I know I always have room for improvement po. Ayan. So, thank you po everyone. I hope I was able to help you with your Google Chrome. <laughs> Maraming maraming salamat, Teacher Nat, uh, for that um, uh, ano, no, comprehensive uh, coverage no, of uh, Google Chrome. Sir Jambi, reactions? Anong, uh, <laughs> meron ka bang mga bago nang itatry? Control, shift, P. Yeah, no, <laughs> oh, lifesaver, lifesaver yung control. Oh, Oo, <laughs> oh, oh. well, although sa amin, iba yata yan, eh. iba yata sa, ano, namin, sa, sa command namin. Oh, Parehas kami ni Teacher Nat, though. Teacher Nat, no, parehas tayo, hindi rin ako masyadong ma-shortcut, eh. Um, pero yun, tiyatandaan ko lang sometimes yung mga very, very useful shortcuts. Pero otherwise, hindi talaga ako ma-shortcut. Mas ma, mas matrackpad ako, tapos ma-mouse, etc. Okay. Now, anyway, uh, teachers, no, um, will, uh, will be, um, siguro, mamaya po tayo magkakaroon ng panel for all your questions, okay? For now, we'll just uh, proceed first okay, on uh, our uh, second part. No? Actually, bonus part lang naman to kasi talagang si Teacher Nat po talaga ang ating may, uh, uh, primary spirit. I'll just uh, highlight some things okay? um, in uh, advanced Google search. No? Kasi isa rin yung napaka-importanting bagay na uh, dapat natin tandaan kay Google Chrome. Kasi syempre, pagdating kay Google Chrome, isa sa mga box na makita nandun ay yung Omnibox no? uh, where we can do searching. Okay, so Teacher um, Nat will park you for now. Uh, in the background, um, and we'll uh, get you ba back now for the open or panel later on. Okay, so teachers, uh, maraming maraming, mar ano, no? um, teachers, for now, we'll just go over um, and uh, look at some um, some uh, advanced search no, uh, capabilities ni Google Search, okay, as well as uh, mga dedicated search engines ni Google. Okay, and this actually will help us, okay, and uh, understand better, siguro, no, yung uh, better searching kay Google. Gusto ko lang siguro for now. Uh, uh, i-highlight muna ano yung kanina. Ah uh, syempre, uh, uh, talaga sa community kasi namin teachers na nakakagutom yung mga icon natin. Okay, but this is indeed no what we call a uh, waffle icon yung uh, nine dots na yan. Kaya tawag po talaga natin sa community diyan ay waffle icon. Okay, but okay, that uh, is officially called the Google Apps Launcher uh, or the Google Apps Drawer. So yan po yung official name niya. Pero again, for the community, we love calling it the waffle icon uh, icon for the others it's the rubik's icon uh, and other amor uh, icons no it depends on which community you belong okay so that's what we call teachers no by the way um gusto ko lang sabihin teachers that you can actually rearrange your icons or your uh, apps in your um, google apps launcher if you just simply uh, drag your uh, icons right there you can actually move it so that you can prioritize which one appears on top and which ones are easily more accessible. For example, I want my Google Calendar to be always on top, and of course, my Gmail to be always on top. I can uh, always rearrange my um, my uh, applications okay, in my Google Apps Launcher so that I can easily access everything. Okay, and of course, uh, kanina hindi ko lang alam kung nadaan ba natin pero uh, there's another button no, on top, teachers. Okay, the upper right corner natin. If you can just see that, so that uh, uh, icon. The, with the arrow down, okay, that actually shows you all your uh, open tabs, okay, and um, uh, recently closed tabs, okay. So, for example, kayo po yung madami talagang ino-open na tabs or madaming naka-open na windows, okay. That's where you can easily manage all of your tabs, regardless of where they are. Even if in there in your second screen, if you're using a second screen, you can actually track all of your tabs and windows, okay, in that uh, particular small uh, icon, okay. That's one, no? And um, so let's now go, teachers, no? Uh, over uh, on um, our... By the way, no, may mag nagtanong din kanina, anong tawag natin doon sa three dots, okay? Uh, ang official name po noon ay more options talaga, okay? Pero syempre, ang, ang, uh, ang hindi kasi magandang pakinggan sa tenga yung more options. So we give it a name. Uh, some people call it fishball, okay? uh, uh, chocolate chips, okay? among others, okay? So madami pong pwedeng itawag sa kanya, no? Uh, teacher M.A. Abigan, uh, our Google Apps Launcher takes into account your frequency of use. Okay, so you can actually, um, um, that actually takes into account no, yung mga frequently used icons mo or apps mo. So, idilalagay niya doon. Okay, um, so normally, if you keep on accessing those tools, that should be something that you can um, 
ano, that will appear in your Google Apps Launcher. Okay. Otherwise, teacher uh, M.A. Abigan, uh, you can actually do what uh, we call here adding shortcut. Notice here that in your, when you open your uh, Google Chrome, you have here an add shortcut icon. Okay. So you can actually click on that. Okay. And then um, give a name. For example, if I want to have a shortcut for my Google Slides, okay, I can go about on that one and uh, I can type uh, slides.google.com. And uh, I'll I'll be able to put that in my uh, presentation uh, in my um, uh, set of shortcuts. No, uh, so you can add no shortcuts here. Okay, I just haven't explored yet the limit of the shortcuts here, but uh, I think at least uh, it'll allow you at least nine. Okay, shortcuts all in all here. Okay, so that's for um um. Uh, for ano, no, for adding short, for easy access to the different tools that we have for the Google Workspace for Education. Kaya nasa sabi ko sa teachers kadina, no, if you master the use of Google Works uh, of Google Chrome, it will allow you to just access no, so many things and optimize your access to your different tools. Okay. And lastly, siguro gusto ko lang ishare kanina, uh, especially to uh, Miss May Verzosa, no. Uh, di ba sometimes we have a lot of uh, um, of uh, links that we have to enter into, uh, like mga meeting links, kay mga uh, links that uh, from a webinar, for example, or our class links. Okay? What I actually did for that teachers is to create a uh, folder bookmark. Uh, Sir Victor um, earlier no, in the chat, okay, this uh, also shared uh, about that. You can actually bookmark, uh, add a folder and create a folder for your bookmarks and put uh, all the related links into that folder. Sim um, similar way, teachers. Now look at this in my. Um, uh, bookmark bar. I can't just zoom into it, okay? But I have a bookmark bar, uh, a folder, you no, know, in my bookmark bar that uh, that contains all my Zoom links, okay? These are all recurring Zoom links, teachers. You no, know? so if I want to go, for example, to a particular meeting, like departmental meeting, uh, meeting links of my co-teachers that I need, I need to go to, um, I can easily go to these links, no? Hindi po ako This is actually one thing that you might want to teach your students okay to bookmark all your zoom links or your google meeting links so that they don't always ask okay, where is the meeting link uh where they can access it etc so that uh, they can easily go and access all of those links uh, uh easily okay now um first time teachers no uh, bago tayo pumunta kay advanced search is puntahan muna natin si uh, si chrome web store okay so si chrome web store teachers is where we get extensions okay extensions are ways of interacting to uh, different web page application or uh, web applications okay that enhances the capability or tools in your google uh, workspace for education so madami po yan teachers no uh, so the address for that is simply uh, chrome.google.com/webstore okay let me put that into the link, teachers, so that you can uh, access that. Okay. Yes, smart move. Yes, teacher May. No, um, something that uh, that helps me a lot. No. <laughs> okay. Uh, if you really, of course, na talagang kapag uh, na ano natin yung mga features niya, no matter how small or grand yung mga features ni Google Workspace for Education, you'll actually find more comfort and workflow flowing much better. No. Uh, in your ano, in your life no as a teacher okay so teachers nandito na po tayo ngayon sa tinatawag nating uh, Chrome web store okay yes teacher it's actually technically a web uh, a store okay uh, where you can get extensions you can see here uh, there are two options so oh, there are two things that you can get from here you can get extensions right here and you can also get the teams okay mamaya pag-usapan natin yung teams teachers no uh, but here you can start searching uh, different extensions that might um improve your uh, the functionality or um, increase the functionality of your google workspace for education tools including as well your google chrome okay so now I had, for example teachers now if i just simply type here uh one of my favorite extensions okay uh, i know a lot of people can relate to it uh you can tawag nothing moat extension so for example i search for that and lumabas na siya dito sa search uh, results ko and you will be able to see teachers know the details about a particular uh, extension by simply uh, clicking on that okay if you click on an extension it allows you to see the details okay what it can do the reviews okay the stars event all of those things will become available for you okay now uh, if you're convinced for example okay ka na, um, sa, ano mo, sa extension mo you can easily go here okay right now my mine is removed from chrome but for those who have not yet added this this uh, actually no is uh, add to Chrome ang nakalagay dyan, okay? 
So just click on that. Okay. Normally, uh, an extension will ask for um, per permission to access your different um, Google Workspace for Education tools. Just let them in, teachers. No, these tools are safe. No, this been uh, screened and actually, uh, I don't know, permitted by Google. Okay. Now, once I have added that, it now goes into my extensions. Now, which we're going to go to later. Okay. But before we go to my extensions, teachers, uh, notice that uh, whenever you want to share a particular extension for example what if for example i want to share this extension to all of you what i need to do is simply to copy the url of this uh, extension right there in my omnibox okay and basically put that anywhere for example i'm going to put it in the chat right now and you can actually click on that and you'll be able you'll be brought to uh, this extension right away okay now, before we go to the um, management no, of extensions and where to find our extension teachers once added, okay, let me just go back and um, uh, see uh, further. No, when you are searching for extension teachers, dito kay Google Chrome, marami kang options to go about that. You can uh, search um, Google, uh, filter your search uh, if it runs offline uh, by Google. There are also free extensions because there are some paid extensions. Uh, available for Android, okay, works with Google Drive, okay, uh, so those are some of your filters. You can also filter your results based on the ratings right here so that uh, you'll, you'll be sure that that extension actually works and it actually got a lot of, um, of uh, I don't know, um, good ratings from users, okay. Now, once you have added your extensions, teachers, now all of your extensions will appear in that puzzle-like uh, icon puzzle icon actually not puzzle like puzzle icon on the upper right corner beside your chrome profile okay so if you just click on that that puzzle uh, icon okay it will now show you the extensions the different extensions that you have in your um for your chrome do not forget teachers no that extensions are account um, um specific okay ibig sabihin, these are not shared across your different accounts okay so if you shift for example to a different chrome profile or at a different account it will actually take into account all the extensions added to that particular google account okay so let's take note of that okay um so for example um if i want to manage my extensions i could simply click on uh, manage extensions right here and it brings me to all my extensions now already shown by teacher um uh, by teacher not earlier okay so i here for example uh, these are some of my extensions right here i have a uh, crafty text okay uh, google docs offline teachers if you plan to make your uh, files now in your google drive available offline make sure that you have first the extension called google docs offline okay that's uh, needed no to be able to turn on the offline modality of your google drive files and the rest of your google files okay of course i have grammarly for chrome i'm not really good so much in uh, in in uh, in 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 um, uh, syntax grammar okay so grammarly really helps me um mode voice extension okay and what's good about these teachers na dial ito extension Whenever you apply, um, use, for example, Moat, it appears across your different uh, tools, no? Google Docs, Google Slides, Google Sheets, uh, Google Classroom, and even Gmail, you can use Moat extension. I also have this one called Record to Slides, okay? If you are looking, for example, uh, an extension that allows you to record to slide directly uh, a video into your slide without using any other applications, you can use Record to Slides it will give you an extra button in your Google Slides, okay? And of course, I also have Zoom scheduler if I want to um, uh, schedule um, Zoom meetings, okay? And, okay, part then of Chrome Apps Mo teachers, now you can also see here your Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Drawings, and Google Slides because they are actually, you know, part of what we call the Chrome Apps, okay? And uh, from here, teachers, no, if I just zoom in into one of my uh, apps right here, I could easily remove a app or sorry an extension right here uh, if you don't want it. Why remove an extension? Teachers, if you're not using an extension, uh, remove it because or else it will um, weigh down on your Chrome capability, okay, uh, etc. Okay, uh, and that will um, um, slow down your Chrome. Okay, you can also um, toggle this button if you don't want to remove it. Okay, but you just want to turn it off for a while so that it does not like operate from the background. Okay, you can actually um, click or toggle this button. Okay, uh, right here, so that uh, it becomes inactive, no, uh, from your Chrome profile. Okay, so that's one teachers. That's how we manage our Chrome. Okay, now 
you can also do teachers no um from your uh, extensions okay if you click on that okay uh if you click on the puzzle icon uh, for your extensions notice that you also have those pin beside your extensions okay that's actually um a good way of uh, accessing your extensions easily if you pin a particular uh, extension that uh, that extension now um, shows up no as part of your icons okay beside your um, extension icon okay so that, that will that will should allow you know to easily access that let me show you for example no um, here this is crafty text no crafty text is a, a perfect way of displaying text on top of your screen Maka slow lang yung internet ko ngayon, okay uh, but anyway no uh, that's uh, for um, for one of the extensions no, that I uh, also use no crafty text you might want to explore that okay so features that's for our extensions again do not um add no too much ext extensions unless you're actually going to use them yes no um teacher lourdes yes meron pong certificate no okay now uh the one that was being talked about earlier by uh teacher nat no and for the rest kanina ni teacher ninch in the comment section about customizing your chrome profile um uh using themes you can actually get your themes right here okay you can actually um easily you know, um uh edit or customize your uh, your chrome by changing the wallpaper okay uh let me just go uh, to that quickly if you go teachers on your chrome notice that you have um option no uh, here uh sa baba, okay lower right corner okay you have there the pencil like icon a pencil icon okay you can actually um, click that and customize your page okay so this will change the wallpaper of your uh, chrome okay but okay, uh what i really like is that you can aside from changing the background you can actually entirely change the entire team by going here at chrome web store and clicking on that themes and from here you can select no all the themes that you want no medyo nakaka-addict lang to teachers no careful kayo pag pumunta po kayo dito okay kasi nakaka ang sarap pagpalit ng mga chrome profiles or uh, themes okay and there's a lot on no, a lot of themes available for our chrome here to customize properly customize your team right now for example i am using this uh, artist uh, themes okay so lahat ng chrome ko teachers no are using uh, the themes coming from this collection if for example, okay, um, pakita ko lang sa inyo teachers no kung gaano ka separate or ka distinct ang aking mga Chrome profiles. If I for example go to my Ateneo account, it will definitely be blue, okay? So automatic alam ko kagad pag nasa blue air nasa blue uh, blue profile ako, Ateneo account ko to. If I for example go to my uh, my uh, uh, UP account, okay? Uh, since I'm a student in UP right now, uh, it's a maroon, okay? So I know that if I open a maroon profile, automatic this is already a my, i know that this is my up account okay uh, this one okay um let me go back to that okay and uh, for example if i go to my uh, kaagapay official okay you'll see a bright bright pink profile for that one okay so teachers yan ang ating ano no uh, chrome web store as well as uh, uh, changing your themes for um, for chrome um uh, for your chrome no google chrome okay now let's go over on um uh sorry okay and by the way teachers now i invite everyone okay um earlier uh sir victor already shared no uh by the way sir victor is also a uh, content creator in youtube please do check uh, his channel as well uh, but there are a lot of um e um extensions that you can explore moat is one okay uh you might also want to explore um um uh equation for our teachers math teachers okay so for example uh, this one allows you to insert no uh equation just about anywhere in your google workspace productivity tools so google uh, form uh docs uh, slides and sheets you can insert this different um uh i don't know uh, equations this is called uh equation okay if you want for example to uh, easily put uh, or save um websites or web pages into your google drive no it's saved as a web page you can actually go and check for um if i'm mistaken um tama ba yung aking name uh mali yata okay google drive
Okay, save to drive pala yung title. Save to drive extension, okay, that's uh, that allows you to save uh, web pages, websites into your Google um, uh, Google Drive if you want to have a collection of web pages that you can easily visit. Uh, so this is our save as HTML, if I'm not mistaken, okay. Uh, if you want, for example, naman teachers to, um, uh, to go about um, uh, adding content to your Google Classroom easily without opening the classroom, you might want to um, to check on uh, Google Classroom, add to classroom, I think. Oh, my name ko. Um, so nakalimutan ko yung yan. Okay, add to classroom extension. Okay, for those uh, teachers natin that are uh, into annotating uh, PDFs. Okay, if you want, for example, to assign PDF assignment to your students, and you should attend, and you want to be able to annotate or to draw on um, the the submissions of your students, you might want to try Kami for Google Chrome. Uh, and uh, that actually also goes into your Google Classroom. You can now assign a Kami assignment in your Google Classroom. Okay, so that's for uh, PDF annotation. Okay, and so much more. No, actually, I think they expanded their uh, features for Kami. No, so medyo madami pa tayong ma explore don. Okay, so teachers, yan ng ating um, Google. Uh, sorry, sorry, teachers. Dami ng mga lumilipad na insekto ngayon dito sa ano, kasi katatapos lang ng ulan, okay? Uh, um, teachers, no? Yes, that's for... <laughs> Nakita ba, kita-kita ba sa, ano, sa stream yun? <laughs> anyway, teachers, I apologize for that. Um, we also have... Now, let's now go to our Google uh, Advanced Search, no? So, marami rin tayong ways to... Um, to better search in Google, okay? Uh, using our Google Chrome, okay? <laughs> Um, unang una teachers na of course okay, um, meron tayo dito um, sa ating Omnibox okay? so we have here um, the, actually teachers no, yung address bar is called Omnibox our um, search bar for Google is also called ad, uh, Omnibox no? so technically both lang yan kasi they actually uh, function the same way if you type an address it goes to the address if you type any tag words or labels it will actually search for that particular uh, word no? so for example as I always, let's I always simplify it by searching a um uh and dummy words, ano? Uh, it will it's I, I simplify my search by simply um, searching for uh, planets, okay? For example, okay. Now, whenever we are searching for uh, uh, something, no, uh, teachers, no. Um, let me just um uh, turn off my camera, teachers, for a while. Okay, teachers, now when we whenever we are searching for um for plan for example planets, no. Notice that your um, your search in Google okay, are grouped into particular categories. So you have images, okay, maps, okay, videos, and news. Um, you can actually um, customize, uh, sorry, uh, focus no, your search by looking or using what we call tools in Google search. Now, so if you just open, for example, the image category, uh, it will allow you to uh, create modifiers or filters by clicking that tool option here. Uh, if you click, for example, that tools, okay, that will now allow you to filter your results based on size. For example, nagahanap ka naman pala ng large image, okay? So why not look for large image, okay? Um, medium image or icon if you're looking for icons, okay? And of course, okay, uh, aside from size, you can also look for um, uh, colors, okay? You can um, actually use okay, colors okay, uh, to uh, to uh, uh, filter your results as well. For example, if you're looking for dominantly purple, dominantly pink, or red uh, images, you can also do that, okay? Uh, even type features, okay? Kung naghahanap tayo ng mga images, for example, na clip art or line drawing, okay? Um, uh, pwede mo itong gamitin. Or, for example, yung mga naghahanap po ng GIF, is pwede mo nang gamitin kagad yung filter mo na GIF dito para uh, ipapakita lang sa ni Google ay GIF. Okay? And, of course, time even, if you're looking for more recent uh, uploaded images, okay? uh, you can um, uh, look here and filter results okay? uh, in, sorry, um, using uh, time no? uh, as a filter. And, siguro, yung pinaka-useful na natin na filter data teachers is yung tiyatawag nating usage rights okay so you can actually uh, limit teachers no and um, 
already filtered results kay, um, of images, for example, that are uh, belonging to the Creative Commons licenses para alam natin that we can already use it without um, a license or without buying it. Okay? But of course, still, kailangan pa natin attribution for that. Okay? Or um, you can also, for example, if you're really looking for commercial and other licenses, you can actually um, filter it also that way. Okay? Now, if you are really looking for uh, a more advanced no, way of searching in Google, okay, you can actually go over, uh, over and click that cog button on the upper right corner when you're searching teachers. That's your settings. If you click on that settings, you'll see here advanced search. And you'll see here so many more ways to filter your results. Okay? So you can actually search based on all these words, exact words or phrases any of these words, etc. Okay? And even the um, colors, okay? um, uh, type of image, okay? all of this uh, will be available no? or will, will help you focus your results, um, what you're looking for. Okay? Now, uh, so that's teachers no, for advanced search in Google. Okay? So, lagi para lang po mas, mas focus tayo no? and mas uh, effective tayo, uh, efficient okay? when we're searching in Google. Okay? Now, another thing that uh, you can actually do Sometimes, okay, when we are searching in Google, okay, for example, I'm searching for articles about uh, COVID-19, that's uh, so, show all, okay, but sometimes, okay, there are information teachers no, na ayaw nating nakikita or ayaw nating included sa search, okay, take note teachers that when you are searching in Google, you can actually use the subtract sign, okay, to actually eliminate any possible search, no, um, uh, or uh, you remove search from that particular category. You can use countries, phrases, words, but for this one, uh, you can actually, for example, also uh, remove search uh, results okay, coming from a particular website. Let's say, for example, search for look for the URL of Wikipedia. Let's fetch that, and um, let's get that okay um, link. Okay. And if I just, for example, I always put, we have to put always a space in between the minus sign and your um, 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 what they call this um, the 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 uh, URL or the word that you'd like to remove from the results, okay? And you can uh, put it there, okay? And when you result teachers know when you search for that, um, Okay, when now you is uh, when you search now teachers no um from your search um entry or the results teachers walang lalabas coming from wikipedia so that eliminates okay, any results from that particular website okay so that's also one way of streaming or um, or focusing your search results in google search okay uh, para lang po mas tayo mas safe tayo pag nagse-search tayo ng results kay google okay now um Furthermore, about searching in Google, no. Uh, if for example, kung alam mo naman teachers nagahanap ka ng uh, books, okay, always note that we have actually a, a very dedicated search engine for books, okay, both for online and printed books, okay. We have the Google Books, okay, right there, so that whatever you're looking for, it's just going to show you books, okay. It won't show you anything else except books, okay. Uh, that should make your search much more efficient. Of course, okay. If we're searching for image, we can always go to image.google.com, which uh, now focuses on searching images. Okay, um, so you can use. And what's good about here, teachers, now when you are using Google Image, is that you can uh, use what we call the reverse searching. If you just click on that icon, um, that uh, camera icon, it allows you to uh, to paste here a URL of a photo. Or you can upload an image here, and it will be reverse searched by Google. It will look for identical images or the where that image could have come from. So this is what we call, um, I don't know, um, reverse, uh, I don't know, reverse search in Google. Okay, and of course, okay, um, before we, uh, uh, this is the last thing teachers that I'll, I'll be sharing. Okay, is uh, there is also a dedicated search, no search engine, okay, or um, uh, search app for um, for um, searching articles, which is very very useful for uh, teachers, no, uh, who are in research or our students who are researching. It's called Google Scholar. So bakalang po hindi natin siya nagagamit teachers or hindi pa natin siya fully explore. So if you really are looking for articles, teachers might as well use Google Scholar. So whatever you're going to see are just articles from uh, very uh, respected and uh, reliable sources, okay? 
And uh, for here, it's just when well, in here, when you search, for example, let's uh, search for um, authentic assessments. Okay. It's my uh, one of my samples here. So, for example, I'm looking for articles on authentic assessments. So it shows me all related articles, okay, or articles under that uh, that uh, uh, search, no, okay, or um, and I won't see anything else. I won't see image. I won't see videos. I won't see anything else aside from these articles. And what's good about using Google Scholar teachers is that you can, if you just click on that. Um, um uh quote button um uh, button okay right here if you click on that teachers it generates okay right there ganon kadaling mag site no at alam natin kung gaano kahirap at ka uh, ano no ka kasalimuot ang pagsasite ng sources midsan okay sometimes nakakalimot din so you can actually easily cite no uh, google scholar create citations for all your resources no from your google scholar so you can easily copy that okay uh, and put that into your papers, okay, um, et cetera, okay? So, and it actually ava is available to uh, different citation formats, okay? Uh, of course, the more popular one, MLA, APA, et cetera, okay? So, madami yan teachers na pwedeng uh, uh, citation, okay? And, okay, if you just click teachers, no? If you just uh, click on that star right there, okay? That actually allows you to build an entire library of your resources. Diba sometimes nagre-research tayo and sometimes hindi na alam kung saan napupunta yung mga articles na to. Ngayon, teachers, no, kay Google Scholar, it could actually allow you to create a collection of articles, related articles into your library. Okay, so for example, if I just um, click that teachers, no, uh, star, it actually saves that now. Okay. Okay. About now, teachers, no? So it has been now saved into my library. So if you just go to that um, three lines, okay, on the upper uh, right, upper left corner, that's your uh, menu, okay? If you click on that, you will see here your My Profile, okay? Basically, that's your Google account, okay? <laughs> and your My Library, okay? Um, so if I click on My Library, I should now be able to see development of authentic assessments for the middle classroom. So I now have here an entire no so these are ones i have sampled before these are all my uh i don't know um uh, saved articles from my uh, for this particular um um search no or topic okay now what else is good about google scholar teachers is that you can actually create like categories okay to the different articles that you uh, are collecting so for example meron kang articles for covid-19 meron akong articles for covid-19 meron akong articles for my history class for my phd and uh, also for authentic assessments okay this is how easy to do it teachers no um you can click here uh, you can select no your articles for example i'm going to add this uh, development of authentic assessments for middle school uh, classroom into my labels. So I just click on that, okay? And you can see here, labels. Napakahalaga po ng labels, teachers, no? Uh, wag po tayong basta-basta papayag na walang labels, okay? Um, <laughs> mga bagay-bagay. So we can click on that, uh, and then we can select, no, uh, the label we want to apply to this one. So for example, I'm going to put it on my authentic assessments labels and apply. And now what happens, teachers, is that if I go to that um, authentic assessments label right here, that article also ends up there, right there. So I can now segregate okay, and actually uh, create no, um, a collection of articles no, properly organized into different labels, labels so I don't get confused okay, uh, for this one. Okay? And okay, the last thing, teachers, no, is that uh, well, you can always custom your your search here, okay, uh, based on time, okay, uh, if it's more recent or um, uh, older um, um, search, no. But another one that you can actually do, teachers, is okay, uh, if you just go back to articles here, is you can actually ask Google Scholar to alert you just in case there are new results, okay, coming in, okay. Can I show my uh, there are not much uh, replying things anymore. Uh, I, I close up my editor. I turned off my camera because there are so many things uh, flying uh, around me. Uh, anyway, uh, you can actually also ask Google Scholar to help you uh, and give you alerts just in case um, you want um, to be alerted if there are new articles okay, that comes in into your um, search. Okay? So for example, I click here, uh, create alert. So what happens now, teachers, is that Google Scholar 
will send me an email okay, just in case there are new search results in my res uh, uh, search. No? Since I'm searching for authentic assessments, okay, so uh, uh, if I create this alert, okay, Google Scholar will email me if new articles are coming in that's related to my search. Okay? So that's also going to update you every time um, uh, no, no, um, um, there's a new uh, article for that. Okay? Teacher Mary Anna, if I click add to my library, yun book, free yun, or ah, so hindi, teacher, hindi po, hindi po lagi. Okay? Uh, <laughs> hindi po lagi, ano, no, uh, free yung, uh, yung mga books. No? Siyempre, may mga books po na may bayad. Yes, no. Welcome po. Uh, so teachers, uh, that's for um, uh, creating no, or um, creating or creating alerts in Google Scholar. Okay. So I hope that you use that is in some mga bagay na sana magamit nyo for your um uh, um ano no uh, as um searching for uh, articles. Okay. So marami nang ginagawa ngayon si Google so that we are more efficient okay, in searching in uh, for information lalo na ngayon sa online distance learning. And this is something actually that I hope that we also get to teach to our students. Okay. So teachers again, those are that's, that's just my uh, very very short uh, sharing okay, because uh, I, again naman no, uh, teacher Nat was able to cover everything already. So I'll just bring uh, back no teacher uh, Nat uh, back into the stream. For our open forum teachers, we still have um, 15 minutes no, or so for our open forum uh, before we close our session. Okay, so let me just uh, welcome back teacher Nat uh, into the stream. Okay, so Nat, good afternoon again. Welcome back. Okay. Hello po. Uh, daming mga, daming mga gamugamul lumalipad kayo dito sa ano, kasi kakatapos lang po ng ulan. Ano. Uh, yan, yeah, yeah. teachers, maraming maraming salamat. Okay, we're now open for some questions okay, or um inquiry teachers, baka meron po kayo mga gustong itanong um, or i-clarify sa amin. Okay, welcome po sa ating mga teachers na nagpapasalamat sa chat. Okay. Uh, baka lang po meron tayong mga clarifications. Okay. Yan. Teacher Nat, uh, pa-mention nga ulit, ano yung uh, extensions that you use, that that extension that allows you to put that um, uh, time and date uh, onto your um, to your Chrome? Ah, that extension po is called um, Momentum. So you could look at Momentum, po into... yes. Yes, po. Yes, actually, that's, that's very nice, no? Uh, momentum. Um, uh, kasi it, uh, may mga motivation, mo motivational quotes pa yan every day. Nagbabago-bago din. So nakakatawa. So pagbag, pagbukas mo ng, um, ano, ng, ano mo, ng Chrome mo, nagnakagad yung... Um, uh, ano yung quotations natin. Pero aside from by the way teacher Nat no isa rin sa mga baka pwedeng i-try ng mga teachers natin is yung pag-create ng ano ng uh, default uh, um, um, web page no pag nag-open sila ng Chrome okay? um, yeah. you can actually do that no sa Chrome uh, for example ako napaka-professional ng uh, first page ko teacher Nat sa akin pag open ko ng Chrome Facebook agad yung malabas <laughs> <laughs> Depende yeah. siyempre for management of kaagapay teacher support, no? So you can actually do that, teachers, no? Uh, just go to settings uh, to set your, uh, no, your uh, default um, website no, or URL for uh, when you open your Chrome. As well as, siguro makakatulong din sa inyo, teachers, no? Yung tiyatawag nating home. If you notice, pag pumunta po tayo dun sa ating Omnibox, dun sa left side naman, meron dung parang home button. You can actually also customize that. Um, so that um, whenever you click on that, it brings you to a particular website. No? So, for example, you can set it as, the example, your Google Classroom. Pwede rin siyang yung um, website ng school nyo. Um, for example, sa akin, teacher Nat, nakaset yan as um, the website of Kaagapay. So, if I click my home button, that home icon, it brings me to Kaagapay Teacher Support webpage. Yeah, no? Okay. right. And Sir Franco, kanina lang, na alala ko lang kasi I was listening to you dun sa Google Scholar. Um, baka po sa iba nating teachers, kasi I'm looking through the uh, chat, I mean the comment section po. Si Sir Jeffrey Beltran pala ay nandito. Hi Sir Jeff, isa rin po sa mga suki naming ano, uh, mentors. Hello po. Ng, yeah. ano. Hi Sir. Ayun. Ano po, um, teachers, uh, I think we have a lot of research teachers na natulungan dun sa Google Scholar. Letting you know lang po na aside dun sa trick na pinakita ni Sir Franco sa Google search po mismo where you can eliminate yung ayaw mong makitang um, results. In Google Scholar po, you could use Boolean operators po such as and or kung gusto nyong ilimit yung specific um, search 
results na makikita, especially for papers po. Um, that's something I teach in my research classes. Tapos parang na-amaze mm. mga bata kasi lalo na kung kailangan nila ng may uh, standardized test for their ano, citations, tapos din nila mahanap. Tapos may pinapaanda ko na end or ganun lang. Boolean operators po ang tawag. Baka po ma gamit nyo rin for your own research po or classes. <laughs> That's Alala, nice. Kung so, <laughs> gamitin ka. Although teacher nat no, uh, for our teachers um ano rin, information. That's step that's opposite naman if we're do- using that sa Google Chrome search, okay? Yung mga yes. end or na yan, uh, nakakalito po yan kay Google. So as much possible, kapag kay Google search, wag po kayong gagamit ng end or kasi tatanggalin din ni Google yan, okay? Uh, it yeah. uh, actually slows down the search results kapag merong mga ganong unnecessary. Pero I love that teacher nat no, sa Google Scholar that we can actually use those to uh, to expand or to eliminate na certain results into our um into our uh, ano, uh, results in Google Scholar, okay? Yes po. Yan. Maraming salamat, mm-hmm. teachers. No? So, uh, teacher Nat, um, before siguro tayo magpaalam, no? of course, kay, um, I'd like to first um, to present no, uh, our um, our appreciation, of course, kay, to you kay, uh, for gracing our uh, our uh, webinar for today. Again, no matter how busy we are, kay, uh, lagi po kayo nandiyan no, to, to help us and to, to guide us as well, uh, our teachers. No? So, let uh, allow me, teacher Nat, to um, uh, present to you this um um, certificate of appreciation okay so this is uh, the certificate of appreciation uh, uh, is respectfully awarded to uh, Natasha Lily Ren Sabado for sharing her knowledge and expertise in the recently concluded webinar entitled ultimate guide to Google Chrome okay uh, awarded uh, here now uh, on July 29 uh, 2021 to be signed by your administrators uh, Joseph Angelo M Santos Paula May J Mendoza Angelo B. Maliari and Franco Nicolo P. Adun with a training duration of two hours. Napakalaga na po niya at uh, uh, training duration na yan. So maraming maraming salamat ulit, Teacher Nat, for uh, gracing our event for today. I don't see any uh, questions right now na puro um, expression of appreciation to Teacher Nat uh, to, uh, from our teachers. Okay. Yeah, anyway, uh, teacher Nat, siguro bago tayo magpaalam, no? and before I let you go and uh, allow you to rest now <laughs> after our session, is uh, maybe we, you could give us um, um, some uh, some uh, uh, words no, to our teachers, okay? um, especially we're now entering into our pandemic school year, um, year two. Okay, so go ahead, teacher Nat. Ano po, so since second year na po natin na same setup, virtual ano pa rin tayo, if ever po na yun, yun nga yung sabi ko sa inyo kanina, kung feeling nyo, hindi ko pa rin siya naintindihan, it doesn't matter po, okay? I know a lot of teachers have that feeling na yung mga estudyante ko mas maalam pa kaysa sa akin. And that could seriously hurt po how you view yourself in terms of your capability in handling your classes. Kaya lang, teachers, I hope you remember po na you know a lot of things that your students don't, no matter how much more proficient they seem. Lalo na sa social media, baka po magulat kayo. Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, lahat gamay. Pero simpleng email po, hindi nila gamay. At kayo alam nyo yon. So you always have something to offer po and I hope you never stop offering that with your students po. <laughs> you have a great ano po. Thank weekend. you. Maraming salamat for that beautiful yeah. message. <laughs> Yun po. Thank you for that beautiful message na teacher Nat. No? Totoo yan. Totoo yan. No? Uh, teachers, wag kayo panghinaan. No? Tsaka ano lang, take it slowly. Okay? Lagi naman kami nandito, kaya nga nandito yung kaagapay teacher support para alalayan po kayo at bigyan kayo ng tulong no? para mas ma- mas mapagaan no? yung pagtawid nyo or pag-migrate nyo. No? Kasi mga madami sa atin, mga digital migrants, pagtawid natin yeah. sa educational uh, 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 technology or uh, ano, technology integration in our times. Okay? So again, teacher Nat, maraming maraming salamat. Kaya, and we'll now... Um, um, uh, no, no, uh, pagpapaalam na mo na po sa iyo, Teacher Nat, and hopefully we'll see you again no? uh, next time uh, now uh, as a Google Certified Trainer. Yes, I'm putting pressure to that. Uh, pero mal- kayang-kaya na yung Teacher Nat. So, teachers, well, let's also wish no, Teacher Nat's uh, application as a Google Certified Trainer uh, for this year. Okay? Uh, let's pray for her uh, and for all the training that she will be giving to us teachers. Okay? So again, maraming maraming salamat, Teacher Nat, and we'll now um, be goodbye na and say goodbye to Teacher Nat. Okay? Paalam po, Teacher Nat. Thank you po. See you po around. Okay.
Okay, so teachers, uh, let's now, before I conclude, by the way, teachers, no, our session for today, uh, let me just first invite you from uh, for our session tomorrow. Wag po ating kakalimutan yung ating na-postpone na session last Saturday will be on tomorrow. Kaya medyo back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back, uh, sessions po tayo, teachers, no? Um, all throughout. So tomorrow, teachers, will be on the effective management of the digital classroom. We'll be bringing um, teachers now from different grade levels and contexts, okay? Para lang po mas ma-explore natin how do we effectively manage the digital classroom given our setup na ngayon. Kasi syempre, dati, mas madali, mas kaya natin i-manage yung classroom in a physical setup. But what uh, what about the digital setup? Okay, so we're also we're going to be talking about uh, that tomorrow uh, from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. Don't miss the teachers. Um, same uh, ulit dito sa ating um, um, uh, YouTube channel, okay? So teachers, uh, uh, with that, okay, uh, we'll now leave you with our evaluation link for today. Uh, before I close the session, can you please let me know if the link would actually work, okay? And uh, if you can actually access the evaluation form so that I could also do something about it if it's not working. So teachers, this will be um, https okay, slash slash tinyurl.com slash uh, July series P7. Okay. Welcome po, uh, Teacher uh, M.A. Abigan. Shout out to Teacher M.A. Abigan <laughs> for, for that. Okay. Always, no, karanga lang makatulong. So, teachers, um, I'll, be, I'll just be waiting for a confirmation if the link is working and you can actually access it. Okay. If that's true, then uh, we're good to go and we'll close the session uh, now. No? Okay. So, that we could also take a rest and uh, we'll see you, teachers, tomorrow for our um, uh, session okay, or uh, part of our July series. No? Actually, that's supposed to be the part six okay, um, na na-postpone natin. Okay. Let me just uh, also send that into our chat okay, for everyone's easy access. Okay. Let me just type that. Okay, I have a confirmation from Teacher Abigan. It's working. Okay. Uh, by the way, teachers, no, uh, some people would usually ask, uh, also have encountered you know, na problems okay? uh, accessing some of the links. Okay? Make sure that you also, pag ganun things nangyayari, can actually change browser because some of our browsers have like uh, like a fire, um, it actually um, limit access to some uh, URL shorteners. Okay? So pag gumagamit po tayo ng tinyurl.com or bit.ly, um, Hindi po natin na, or minsan niya na na-access yung mga link na yun because of our Chrome settings, okay? <clears throat> okay, so maraming salamat, teachers, and okay, um, we'll see you tomorrow, okay? Paalam, teachers!